good morning, good afternoon, welcome along to Crafters TV, welcome to the craft class and happy Easter, it is Easter Sunday, I hope your Easter is going well so far, hopefully you've had a bit of chocolate, hopefully you're getting ready for a nice relaxing day and hopefully you are getting ready for the craft class where this is all about uh, bringing you loads of demonstrations, kind of taking things back to basics just a little bit and today we're going to be concentrating on flower forming and if it's something that you already love to do or perhaps something that you thought about doing uh, then this is the show for you a brilliant show for the fact that we have got something back in stock which sold out uh, shortly after we've launched it the brand new collection of the spring flower forming collection um, it launched at the back end of March when I say only like about 10 days ago sold out we've got it back for you but we don't have a huge amount of this stock remaining I'll touch more on that in just a little while we've also got loads more flower forming foam on the show for you we've got previous kits to bring to you as well and we've got back in stock tools that you will need to help you on your flower forming adventure and we've also got one of my absolute faves over the course of the next couple of hours who's going to be flower forming like you've never seen before uh, <laughs> it's the lovely Debbie Robinson happy Easter happy Easter to you too Ben my lovely and everybody who's out there today have you stuffed your, have you stuffed your faces with all that chocolate and if you have get yourself on your settee pig out for a couple of hours and yes. come and watch us with yes. these flower forming can I show you a couple of come samples on. before we move on come and have a look at these now this is what we call proper floral 3d three 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 d nothing free today 3d flowers uh, that you've got here I mean these are just the most gorgeous glorious 3d proper florals look how gorgeous these are these are the things that don't you don't have to throw away they last forever great little gift boxes this is from that beautiful spring uh, fl uh, spring oh wait a minute the spring mm. flower forming, forming collection yes. yes thank you thank you thank you Ben thank you I'll be out there but gorgeous oh. colors in there as well so we've got the most amazing new colors in the new form uh, with the spring florals <laughs> I'll just say spring florals be easier <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've got everything for people who maybe never have tried it maybe they're a little bit scared we're going to take you through lots of different ways that you can use your flowers your dyes your foam and how to create some different projects um, and uh, we've got a little starter kit in there as well so if you've never tried it before, then give it a go. Come and watch us for these couple of hours and I'll talk you through and show you how you can make these incredible flowers from your Christmas style ones um, and just think, I mean, these are just really lovely because they might be poinsettias, but look how gorgeous they look. Absolutely beautiful. You can decorate cards up with these boxes with them. Hair bands, hair bands. Hey, love your hair band. Uh, well, I was just admiring yours, Ben. Yours what? is absolutely beautiful, too. I've still got it in the air. You have. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for noticing. <laughs> Matches my eyes, doesn't it? It does indeed. <laughs> But the point is, as Debbie's just brilliantly shown you, these collections are great, whether it is for kind of adorning your cards with embellishments for home decor projects, or even for things that you can wear as well. Back in stock is this first collection, the Spring Flower Forming Collection. 69 elements and 12 sheets of foam you're going to get with this. But what I will tell you, if you're thinking, oh, great, because I missed out on the launch on this, uh, we've only got 20% of the back in stock remaining. So you've got to grab it sooner rather than later. 63.92 or 79.60 is the deal on this. You're going to get all of the dyes for all of the flowers that you're seeing here. I'll go through the boards in more detail shortly. You're also going to get uh, your gorgeous um, Spring Hughes flower forming foam with this. And on top of that, uh, you're going to get your neutral white um, stamens to go with this collection too. It is absolutely stunning. And what I love about this collection particularly as well is you get the dyes to be able to uh, make those flowers, but also you get little templates in there too. So if you want to supersize your flowers within this collection, uh, you have got the ability to do this. What I would say to you is 20% of the stock remaining, when we launched this, of course, we did not have triple points on it. So this again is where you are quids in once again. If you did miss out, well, look at this now, triple points on the deal, uh, saving 13.98 or 18.90. And the other great thing about this is you're picking this up today. Uh, we've got a craft along for this on the 7th of April. So Wednesday coming, 
um, if you love your flower forming, you can craft along um, on that show. As always, jump in. In fact, here you go. There, there's all the details for you coming up on your screen there. Uh, three o'clock UK time on Wednesday, 10 o'clock Eastern, the flower forming spring collection craft along. So it's a great time to pick it up. As always, if you want to get in touch with us, please do Facebook and YouTube. Uh, any comments, any questions, if you just want to comment and wish us happy Easter, we would love that. But any questions about flower forming, uh, do let us know and we will get those asked during the course of the show. Lots of goodies to show you. And as I say, I'll go through this in full detail in just a bit, but let's get started because I tell you what, over the other side of the studio, I have never seen so many flowers. Um, and I know Debbie's going to be flower forming furiously over the other side of the show. There's loads over there. There is loads over here because I adore making flowers and I, I love the idea. The, the one thing that I've always done in my crafting life is I've loved to embellish my things with flowers and I've gone out and bought them. That's what I've done, Ben. I've actually gone out, bought yeah. them, paying a bit of a premium price for things as well and got like five or six of them. But now we've got this kit that you can recreate over and over and over again. We're giving you the dyes. The lovely thing about these spring flower ones is that you've got the templates in there as well. But there's a plethora of different florals in there. And we talk about all those different names. And I'm just going to bring them up a minute, Ben, because I know what I'm like. I get, I get tongue twisted. The hydrangea. There's some really uh, tough ones in there. Let there me is tell some, you. Uh, the pretty peony. Yeah. Can do that one. All right. Uh, the vibrant dianthus. That's good. There you go, we'll get that one. There's Wild one. poppy, nice easy poppy. one there. Tulip blooms, I mean, yeah. come on, tulip blooms. Let me just show you for a second. Tulip blooms. Ooh, How incredible yes. do they look? Absolutely beautiful. So you can do all these, but these are giving you the ability to change them up as well. So you might want to use them in the way that they're intended, but by doing a little bit of distressing or cupping or anything like that, you can make these look incredible regardless of what. And we are literally warming you up because... Uh, this is the craft class, but uh, Sarah is going to be warming you up. Well, I'm warming you up for Sarah's main event on Wednesday, where she's going to do a craft along, which means you have got the time to craft along with our Sarah stage by stage. So it's just absolutely incredible. I'm going to be using the Regal Rose with this one, Ben, because okay. I absolutely love this, uh, this floral. And again, really, really easy to use. You've got on here, and I'll just show you for a second what you have in this particular set, is where you've got your three different florals from your small to your medium to your large in the die form. Because what we've got here is a large, medium, and next one, look at this. How incredible does that look? So you can supersize. Abs really supersize these florals up. And that's exactly what you can do. And you can see mine in the shots there that I've already done. But I'm going to show you how easy this is just to run through your machines. They're going to run through your things like your... Um, like your Mini. Gemini Mini, thank you very much. Do we still have that Mini on the show? With yes, the... we do. I we thought certainly so. Do. With a free I... storage bag. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great deal. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to grab some of this. I mean, can I just take a moment as well? <clears throat> I mean, come and look at these colours. Oh, they yes. are incredible beautiful colours and what people have been asking us for since we started with the flower forming form this is what we've been asked to do your it's all that we've listened your wishes our command our command, our command exactly so let's take one of those i'm going with that pink because i really do like that pink so let's take that out there for a second very very easy that you do this just move that to one side ben you can either fold this over this is the way that i do it i fold it over in half but you can take this and you can snip into it individually um, and do each petal as, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Ben? What, what? Do you snip into it individually? Uh, snip into it individually, yeah, and do them, do them separate one by one. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to, sorry, started already. <laughs> uh, but we're going to pop that here. <laughs> oh, my goodness uh, me. We're going to just take that through and you can <sighs> see just how he's, and you can see there's four layers. That are layered up there, four layers Has that done it? of the foam. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You take that out, and by the way, don't be throwing that no. away because when you open it up, you've still got that central piece. You can use that Beauty. as well. Uh, but let me just show you now we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, and four cut out from that one die through the one pass of the machine, which does make these incredible. Now, when you are using your. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, templates. Templates, thank you very Good. much. I like this game today. Guess the word that Debbie's, Guess the word that Debbie's trying to say, yes. <laughs> what you're going to do is just draw around your form. So you can oh, draw okay. around your form, take a pencil, draw around lightly and cut around it. 
or you could run it through your machine to create a little bit of a um you know like a stencil mark mm -hmm. and it will um, enable you to die cut that out as well so they're the ability to be able to cut those bigger as well but i think what i'm going to show you now is just crack on with how we're going to use these and uh, this is when you will need now i tell you what i've done ben I've chopped up from my little normal craft iron. So I'm bringing in. Oh, you've got the big daddy. I've got the big daddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Debbie's brave. <laughs> because I'm so clumsy. Well, you said yesterday <laughs> that you don't use a big iron because you might burn your elbows on it or something. I know, so. because I am. I'm just a little bit on the clumsy side. But I thought, well, Bernie's had it out this morning. Seems daft. Plus, I needed the fan on because it's still warm in this room. So I thought, I'll have the fan on. Having the fan on the little small iron can affect it. I was saying this to you yeah, earlier about the heat. Yesterday. So, yeah, so make sure you've got your iron. And it is just a domestic iron. You just get it onto the hot setting and this is good to go. So I've had mine warming up. But what we're just going to do now is I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to grab my ball tool. Look at this. I've even got a little... Oh, little okay. special Look tub for my ball Decorated. tool. How gorgeous is that? There's this is... Sorry, they're What's back that? in stock as well, I was just going to say. Sorry to interrupt. The ball tools are back in stock. We'll get the, de uh, the details up for you on the screen. Here. No, carry on, Debbie. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Me so what are you going to do? Now, I am going to be careful because I am doing this back to front, but literally, you just, and I don't know if I can turn that there, look at that, drop that That's off. That's more like it, isn't it? Uh, uh, honestly, and look, if I just bring it on too, and I'll take it onto my um, foam there, you can see the shape. Look how that's already shaped. Now it's ready for me to now start moulding as well. So I'm going to carry on with a few more though, Ben, if I may. And that's all you do. You pop it onto your iron. Let's get that on there. There we are. See, I'm not as clumsy as I thought I were. Oh, wait a minute. Talk, Long talk way to go, soon. yeah. Long way don't, to go, don't, yeah, don't Debbie. Don't talk too soon, Debbie. Don't talk too soon. Um, oh, good oh, <laughs> Hello. What's... That, that's the fan for you. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself a crafting <laughs> challenge there. Ready, quickly, get it on. There we go. There we go. And let that heat just yeah. mould your floral. In fact, I'll pop all those there ready. I'll do some of these smaller ones as well. So we'll pop that on, give it a little wiggle, knock it off, and it could not be any easier. And I mean, what's it taking? A couple of seconds on there? Yeah, absolutely. Two, three seconds on each. Just a oh, what? I was saying two, three seconds on each of those. Oh God, yeah. yeah. These just. I mean, you could have all these elements die cut out, doing all your stenciling on there as well. You could have all those ready done. Yeah. Just pop them in a bag somewhere, ready for when you are ready to do your heat to them. Or you can do what I do, and I have got a bag full. I'll sh I might show you and share with you later. Hey, a bag full of a bag full. <laughs> let me just tell you as well. Uh, producer Johnny and I. <laughs> We're looking because we, you know Debbie's got a lot of stuff. You know when you see her with her tote bag. Have you ever seen her tote bag? It's jam packed full of stuff. You should see the other bags that she's got. A flower forming bag is full of bags that are full of bags and are full of bags. Let me just tell you. Uh, and flowers like you would not believe. She's got a full on English country garden inside her bag over there. I have, and you can mold them, Ben. The thing is, you can mold them and leave them. So before you start putting them together, yeah. you can actually put, keep the once, once they've been activated with the seat. That's it. So they keep the shape. That, yeah, they keep the shape. Absolutely they do. So you can see how they've turned out from like this particular and I mean I haven't started shaping this yet, but you can see how it's already been activated and it's gone from that flat form to that um, lovely form ready to do all that shaping with. But give it a little knock on there and then pop that off. I'm just gonna move my iron out of the way. I'm gonna start with the smaller ones as well. Look at the small ones. Take your ball tools and you've got on here, and I'll pop them all on there. Sorry for the clunking sound, but um, you've got six from the three ball tools you've got six different sizes to be able to mold with i'm taking the smallest one got my sponge and all i'm doing is rolling my um ball tool into the center to now give it that shape and it's like got a lovely what i call a cup feature yeah, uh -huh. little cup feature where that's all ready to go i'm just going to carry on doing that with all of these all right um whilst you're doing that i'll do a few of those and i've got a couple of questions as well so uh, let's do a few of those lynn is in uh, hi ben debbie the ctv team and everyone hello lynn uh, gwen says good morning debbie and ben good morning helen says uh, good afternoon from ipswich in suffolk hello uh, mary says hello everyone from a beautiful easter morning in south carolina it's a beautiful easter morning well it's afternoon here now isn't it beautiful uh, day here in the uh, in the northeast it's lovely it is it's beautiful uh, rhonda says hoppy easter see what you did there hoppy easter <laughs> uh, from a finally warm chicago oh and hang on a minute there's a birthday there's a birthday uh, a Su birthday in the house suzette Sue's on facebook says today is my birthday Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! That's all we can do. <laughs> Can't sing anymore because then you have to start paying for it. Oh gosh, yes, yep. you do. Yes. Uh, Happy Ooh. birthday, Suzette. 
Uh, Debbie says, Happy Easter from Newton Abbott, Devon. Uh, what a lovely sunny day. Uh, loving the hair band, Ben. Send my love to Newton Abbott, because Debbie, as I think you know, used to live just around the corner from you in King Stainton. And actually, there's lots of love coming in from my headband. Uh, producer Johnny at the start of the show said, Are you going to keep it on? I said, well, yeah, I think I, think I might. I think, I, think, I think I might do. And actually, love the headband, says Rhonda. Very fetching, says Carol. OMG, says Daisy. Ben, you're so pretty. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you. And Rose says, I love your halo, Ben. Adorable. No word of a lie. Um, I, I, I had a bit of a, as you know, Mrs M had a bit of a hack at this the other day, so it's not as long as it was, uh, but it got to the point during lockdown that um, I was wearing my daughter's um, headbands because my hair got so long, so I'm kind of used to wearing them. They're quite comfy, aren't they, Debbie? <laughs> they are They're very comfy. comfy. They are, ve honestly, they are really, really comfy. They really yeah. are, Ben. I love headbands. Especially when you can decorate them like this as well. They just, yes, you know, absolutely. Something, they? Absolutely. Now, mm. I've nearly finished doing all my shaping, Ben, and if you've noticed, I've been using different ball tools uh, for the different sizes of petals that we've got on here um, and again you can really just mold it you've got your sponge so your sponge comes included in this where you can do this effect and I mean I've got from really closed up ones to more looser florals you can actually turn it over and if you turn it over you can just give it a little push down so you can create your petal in a different way which yeah. again really love this got a bit of static going off on my fingers there Ben do you know what <laughs> good thing that you said about that because Mary says sometimes after working with the foam the static builds up uh, what do you do when it happens? Because the silly petals won't leave my fingers. <laughs> do you Just, like that? It does happen. It does happen. It can happen. Uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, another thing with your heated hands as well. Because don't forget, anything that you apply heat and these have a lot of heat in them so that can also affect when you're doing this but it happens with me too uh, ben so uh, don't worry about it it'll be f honestly it's fine just get it back on there until you've molded it into shape and just carry that on i mean you, you can see even though i did have that static it's gone now so yeah. what i'm going to do now ben is i'm going to take a poker tool so i've got my poker tool yeah and it's one of ours our twin ones that have the rubbers on either end uh, just take them off because this is a nice little poker tool ready for our stick uh, sorry, ready for our flowers for making the hole for the, for the stamens, stamens to See. go into. Got yes, yeah. absolutely. And um, what choices have we got in the show today with the stamens? We've got loads oh, we've of different ones. We've got black, ones. we've got white, yep. we've got metallics. Oh, wow. We've got uh, like a floral, um, uh, yeah, floral collection. We'll show you them all actually in just a bit, but yeah, we've got lots of colours. We've got the black as well. There was lots of call for those in the um, the launch show actually, so um, have a look. But the kit that you're seeing details of on your screen there is the uh, metallic floral and natural collection with 1,200 stamens. Right, and honestly, stay, those are going to last you a long time mm. as well. So I've just started with the very smallest one, the one that's cupped the most as well, because it's like the little bud in the middle of the rose. Really lovely, really lovely. So those I'm going to do, Ben, is just literally build them up. Now, I've got different colours here. Um, whether or not there's a two-tone rose out there, I'm not really sure, to be fair. Two is there a two-tone rose out there? Oh, I don't know. Don't start asking me about flowers. I'm not, a, not an expert on this. Are I, you not an expert uh, either? Not really. I can't. I, I can't imagine. Is there a is there a two tone rose? I mean, there's different colours of rose, aren't there? There obviously. is different colours of roses. There is have, indeed. You have different roses for different meanings, don't you? Yes, them. absolutely. Um, so. What I'm just going to do though, Ben, is I'm just, I'm, I am mixing my clothes up because I want to cre create a nice big floral mm. here, which is why I've got quite a lot of petals. Um, but you can see in the middle, uh, can you see that there's all that open space? If I just open that up and we do a, that's perfect, so that you can see, excuse my fingers, but you've got all this open space. And the best way I will say when you're using these is to offset it. So don't worry about when you're getting it on and you're thinking, oh, maybe that's not offset. You can always move it around because you've got the ability to just twiddle it around into place. Yeah. So when you've got that on, just make sure then that it's all nice and you can see that really coming together quite well at the minute. Let me just try and get that on an angle. And I'm just going to carry that on now, carrying on building up my florals. And I'm going to carry one. Let's go in with, I'll bring some different colours back in. How many is the optimum number of? Petals. Do you know, there's never too, honestly, Ben, that's your choice, a personal choice. I love to make really big, full flowers, but you can go as big as you want and you can already see. Let me just try and get that in a, a better angle. Wait a minute. Bit difficult, isn't it, when it's... There we go. There you go. You can see that coming together. Uh, but you could also alternate where your petals go as well. So again, let me just bring these round. Let me bring a couple of these. In fact, these are the smaller ones. You can turn it up a little bit and have them going the other way. So I've just pushed those in and then literally you can really start to build up 
I mean, look at this. This is looking really beautiful. This is what I'm talking about when just twiddling it into shape. Just give it a little twist round. So I'll, <laughs> I'll try. I'll try and behave, Charlotte. I promise. I'll, I'll try and behave. <laughs> but can you see that all coming together now? Really lovely floral, really coming together. I think I'm going to add a couple more. Come on, let's let's go big. Let's go big. Go big or go home, Exactly. Debbie. I'm going, I'm going, oh, I'm going massively big. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, I, I'm taking it to the extreme here. To the extreme for e Easter. Extreme, exactly. Extreme. Don't poke yourself in pet finger though, Debbie, <laughs> with your pokey tool. Uh, but you can now see this really coming together really quite beautifully. And I've got to finish that off with one last one. And there I'm going to now, I mean, look at this. Let's pull it through right all the way through to my um, hen there and you can see now it's ready I mean God, look how gorgeous Stunning, that is isn't it? this is beautiful this is what you're going to be able to create real beautiful 3d realistic florals and what I'm going to do Ben is I'm going to grab now let's uh, I've got loads of stevens down here what color will go nice with that we'll have one of those metallic ones uh, so I've now got my hole all the way through so you can see here Bringing it all the way through. Now, because I have got quite a big one, I am going to push that all the way through and give it a nice little um, push. Let, there we go. Let me just go right through. Bringing that through. And then you've got a nice big hole to be able to poke your stamens right through yeah. and bring that in together. And then you can start to shape again and oh, mould yes. because these have already been eat activated, which means if you're not quite happy with where your petals are, you can have a little play around with them until you're ready and happy with the result. And I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks That's really That's not half pretty. bad, Debbie, that is it? Not half bad for the first one, Ben. So I'm going to turn that over. I've got all my thread through there. Now this is, um, do you know the flower? wire yes. that you can buy um i've got one of mine's like a just a beading wire so you can use jewelry wire and things like that uh, but all i'm going to do is i've got my hot glue gun because i want to set this and i'm just going to put a blob of glue round the back and that's just of the stamen to keep the stamen into place i'm not going mad i'm not going to hold it in with too much glue so i'm just going to let that set for a minute and then you can either keep that on the wire because when you've got this ready, you can actually put these onto, and I'm going to show you through this show, you can actually put them onto, do you know your flower wire? Oh, yeah. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Let me grab one. Da, 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 da. Like this. You can put them onto here. So you can have them ready to go into things like your oasis. Yeah. It's, that's right, isn't it? That's the right word, isn't the, it? Then? I know what you mean. The, the, yeah, the, the, that know, floral yeah, the floor, oasis. But, yeah, yeah, I think uh -huh. it's the oasis. Yeah, yeah. Pop that in and you can start to make things like these. Little vases. Your lovely vases. And don't forget, is the box, is that box template in there as well or is that separate? Uh, that is individual, separate. but I think it's sold we'll out. Have to, oh. I think it's gone. I'll put that down there. You could make your own box, yeah. is what you could do. But you can attach this by wrapping your wire around there and then just popping around the green, do you know the green... Um, um, the, the twine. The, yes, um, the, the flower... The flower, flower. Tape. Yeah. I call it flower tape because I can't remember the name of it. But that's exactly what you can do. And then you're ready to pop that on to whatever it is you want to pop it onto. And do you know what I thought, Ben? I thought it would go with a little headband. Well, anyone who's anyone's wearing a headband at the moment, Debbie, aren't they? Oh uh, well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, quick news flash. News What's your flash. news flash? The florist box that Debbie was just showing you, that template is still available. Uh, I want to say it was six ninety nine. Maybe it's slightly less than that. Four ninety nine, even better. Six dollars ninety five. It's available on the website for you right there. However, we are down to the last few uh, chances for you to grab that. So if you want to get that florist box, which makes the little box that Debbie was just showing you over that side, uh, get on the website and get it in your basket now because it will sell out. <laughs> Now, I am going to show you how to make your fluffy flowers. We've done that beautiful rose there, really beautiful, detailed rose. Big and big and beautiful it is, just, just how I like it. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, aren't they lovely? Honestly, come on, just look at these. These are beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to make a fluffy flower next, if that's okay, Ben. Okay, Can you give me a couple of seconds oh, to get yourself I ready? I certainly will. Uh, let's go through the deal, actually, shall we, whilst we are uh, waiting for that. Am I keeping this on, by the way? I am. Okay, let's say yes in the gallery. <laughs> If I get told off for this, I'm blaming you guys. 
You guys want to see it though, right? You want to, you want to see me with the headband on, which is good. Uh, let's show you the deal for the Spring Flower Forming Foam Collection. Remember, uh, we only had 20% of the stock remaining of this at the start of the show, uh, and we are now dwindling. Uh, talk about 19, 18, 17% of the stock remaining. If you want to get it, get it right now. So um, within this collection, you're going to get all of the flowers uh, that I'll show you on the boards here. Great thing is, as Debbie's pointed out as well, with this collection, you get the dies to be able to cut out um, your sort of smaller flowers, but then you get the templates as well. So if you want to supersize your flowers, there you go. You can really make some big, big florals here. If it is for your cards, if it is for home decor projects, if it is for things like headbands or little brooches or corsages, whatever it is, there's so much scope with all of these. There's your vibrant dianthus. And once again, you've got your template to go with this. Love the fact that you get the foliage dies in there too. Then there's some complicated names here, and this is one of them. The elegant ranunculus. Say, say it quickly, Ben. I did notice that one. <laughs> I did notice. Uh, the elegant ranunculus is uh, also within this collection. Again, all the dyes in your templates to go with that. Next up, this one here is your hydrangea garden. Oh, I love a hydrangea. And again, like Debbie was saying, the fact the fact that you've got the ability to go small and kind of you know, frugal if you want or big and completely over the top, you've got the ability to do that as well. Next up, your tulip blooms, which are gorgeous. Again, Debbie showed you that gorgeous um, tulip bouquet uh, just a little while ago in that, um, with that little vase that you can get the template for on our website. There's your delicate crocus. And then on top of that, you've got your gorgeous wild poppy. Uh, here is your pretty peony. You can see why this is an unbelievable buy, can't you? And then uh, your regal rose. We are back to, are we back to the start? Yes, we're back to the start uh, with your regal rose. Uh, as well as all of those, of course, don't forget, you're going to get your foam. Uh, I'll let Debbie flick through that again when we get back to the other side of the studio, because otherwise this um, set's going to fall apart. But you've got all of your gorgeous spring hues within that foam. And on top of that, you are going to get uh, 400 of your white stamens so it is a brilliant collection it's 63.92 or 79.60 if you missed this first time out you've got well not much opportunity left to grab it but still chance to do it and you're getting triple points which you didn't get when we launched it so it really is a super super good time uh, to jump in and grab this now one thing we also didn't have on launch which we have back in stock for you now which is ever so handy are your ball tools. Uh, we've got a question about these. I tell you what, we'll do some questions with Debbie in just a few moments time because we've got a few that have come in uh, and a few of you have been asking about the, um, the ball tools. So you've got all of those, double-ended of course, so um, it, al it allows you, what does Sarah say? What is, oh. But it's, that's exactly what these are. These are six, well, the six different sizes from the very smallest to the very biggest ball tool. And you can see there, you've only got the three because you've got double ended and they are absolutely fabulous. That means you can shape small flowers, medium flowers. You can do that small cupping. Do you know where you cup them yeah. really, really tight like a rose bud? That's exactly what you can do with these. And you get a lovely sponge, white sponge. I've noticed mine's a bit discolored now. Oh, uh, but a lovely white sponge. <laughs> only because I use mine ever such a lot better. I use a lot. Look, mine's yellow. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Just mucky, inky fingers. I'm sorry, Ben. It's mucky, inky mucky fingers. Mucky, inky fingers. Is. Mucky, inky well, fingers. Well, there you go. You've got your biggest balls in craft there. Not my word, Sarah's, apparently. And also in this collection, you get your finger toboggan as well. That's coming to you for free. And that's great for doing your sort of ruffling techniques as well, uh, which we'll see. Um, in just a little while. So a really, really super cool bundle. As I said, we didn't have the ball times, ball times, ball tools last time out, uh, but we've got them today. Get them in your basket, 14.99 or 19.95 is the deal on that, saving over 30%. And you're gonna get triple points in that collection Ooh, as well. Uh, we've got extra foam for you um, on the show as well. Um, again, with this, I love the fact you've got your foliage greens in there. So again, if you're wanting to kind of do your foliage in the flower forming foam, you've got the ability to do that. You've then got your um, floral bouquet. Best thing to do here is just have a look at the different colours that you've got down the side of the packaging because I know previously that this wasn't full because someone had had a bit of a uh, nibble at it and uh, <laughs> someone else in the studio has had another little <gasps> nibble at it today. 
Um, she might have done, yeah. I ran out of my pink. Yeah. I ran out of my pink. She, yeah, ran out of a colour. I can't believe it, can you? With all of the stuff she's got on the side, yeah, she ran out. <laughs> uh, and then on top of that, you've also got your white, which is super handy because if you decide that you want to create, I don't know, your own colour uh, flower, you've got the ability to be able to ink that up should you want to. So all of that, 11 98 or 19 90 21 sheets of foam, saving over 30% um, on the deal. If you're platinum, $9.58 or $15.92. Um, and it, it is basically a buy two, get one free deal. And you get triple points. What are you waiting for? So you've got all the foam you need, you've got all the tools you need, and you've got all of the dyes that you need to be able to create your flowers as well. And they're so easy to do, so usable for so many different crafts. I think you should definitely go for it today. If you can't stretch to this bundle, we do have other bundles on the show for you as well. Uh, but let us get back over to the other side of the studio and uh, see what Debbie is up to. I've got some questions for you, Debbie. So should we do those in a minute? Yeah, absolutely, Ben. Right. Absolutely. I was just going to show you is that same floral that I've just done, but we're going to change it up a little bit by ruffling it up, getting a nice little fluffiness to it. So I've got some of the smaller ones. I've already pre-done some at this side, um, already been there and, and done that. But what I'm just going to do is place that back on again, watch that bubble, bring it off and do exactly the same with these. Pop it on, drop it off. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Pop it on, drop it off. And the, the, more, um, the more shrinkage you want, you know, if you want to go really small, keep it on longer because it'll cup it more, if that makes and, any and sense. And what's your iron? Is that turned up hot? That's hot. That's right. hot. So it's hot, that iron. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, eat, the, the hotter the setting, the better the, um, uh, the moulding, the, the way that it moulds will, will help. If you've got it on a cool setting, it's going to probably take a little bit longer. Now, you can see we've got it cut that same particular shape, but what I've introduced now is my... Finger toboggan. You call it a finger toboggan, I call it a finger clog. Right, can we take a vote on this, please? <laughs> right. Yeah, get, yeah, before, yeah, it before, looks like a toboggan. Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah but, but, uh, I see where you're going with that it one. It also looks like a clog. So please, on the uh, socials today, is it, are we going to call this a finger toboggan <laughs> or a finger clog? <laughs> vote now. And uh, whichever wins the vote, then we shall, we shall stick with that. Yeah, and what he's got on here, if you've never seen this before, it's got a lovely ridge. So it's, can you feel that? You, Popping your finger across. I There's can't feel it because you're across the other side. So sorry. <laughs> of course you can't feel it, Ben. <laughs> oh, God. But you can hear it. Oh. Because it's got ridges all down here and ridges on here. And it's like that, it creates that lovely... Um, like a skiffle board. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Mm. A skiffle board. Yeah. Skiffle well, board, yeah. this is going to create that lovely fluffiness. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my petals and I'm just going to fold those in to each other. I'm going to give it a little twist. Yeah. I'm going to hold it down with my finger and then I'm just going to ruffle over and it's just taking your little clog toboggan. and just toboggan clog just taking your little finger to clog tool <laughs> finger tool over okay. there and you can see now what that's done it's like giving a lovely little uh, distressed feel to it now if you're not happy with that you can go back in and do that again but I'll show you it again and we'll we'll do this a couple of times through this show because it's a lovely tool to have to create yet again something completely different because this is the rose flower dye but it's not going to look like a rose when I'm done. No. And that's what I love about these dyes. They are so versatile. So many ways you can use them and create different effects all every single time, no matter which one you're going for. So I'm just going to do this on the same for all four of these. And then we're going to take one of the ball tools and we're going to stretch it out a little bit so that it um, releases from the... Uh, it, keeps the it keeps the fluffy edge on the edge, yep. but it, it stretches out to make it a bit smoother in the middle, if that makes any sense. Uh, Anne, th Anne thinks it looks like a tiny bob said, so that's one for toboggan. Lots of you coming up with questions. After this demo, we, will s well, we won't sit Debbie down, but we'll, we'll put some questions to Debbie, like mastermind style and we'll get, all those, uh, we'll get all those questions answered on her, especially the subject of flower forming. Hey, do you know something? I, was, I, was, I actually was quite scared of flower forming when I first heard well, yeah. it. Honestly, yeah, I thought I'm never going to be able to do it. And then I sat and played and all oh, my days, 
No more going out and buying any floral, flowers. I do my own. Everything's from scratch and I love these dies. And these dies can also work on your paper as well. So you can make your paper flowers with these too. So there's no need for you to go out and buy any more pre-made packet flowers, which would cost a fortune. You've got an initial outlay, granted, what well, you've got that initial outlay, but once you've got that, Ben, it's for life. Mm. And that's what I love about it. The only consumable is the foam. And we'll always be having the foam. It's not something going away or anything like that. Uh, but ben, going back to this, let me just talk to you about that lovely ruffled feather. What a uh, feather, feather effect. Feather. All I'm doing is taking my ball tool and yep. I'm just giving it a slight little tease around the ball tool. I'm not being harsh with it, I'm being quite gentle with it, but I'm just undoing each one of those petals to smooth out the bottom part of it. But I'm not doing that round the edge, round the tip of the flower, so it keeps it nice and... Um, Keeps it nice and fluffy. That's the word, fluffy. We'll go with fluffy. Fluffy's good. I know Sarah calls them, um, I think she calls them um, cups. She, calls, she says the cup style. The, what's the other one she calls? There's a cup, ruffle. Cup, a ruffle. And a bubble. And a bubble, that's it. I couldn't remember that other word that she used. That's when you go in from the other side, isn't it? It is. That's when you, yes, when you get that lovely bubble shaped one. But again, there's just, I mean, that's just three different ways you can use them. Then you can keep true to your floral as well. You, you know, your, your hydrangeas and things like that, you can keep true to those florals. Um, it's, but it's just the versatility, and that's what I love about these. The versatile dyes that are being used so, so many different ways. Absolutely fab. So again, I'm just stretching each one of those slightly gently, taking care not to be too heavy-handed. If you go too heavy-handed, you could end up tearing. Tearing. Good grief, what's wrong with me? Tearing your foam. But can you see now that lovely, like a, a fluffier um, feature to these? And it, it really does make these come to life. I've already done a couple of little small ones, so I'm going to bring in my smaller ones. Taking again, poke it all into the middle of that flower bed, middle. And I'm going to pop a couple of those small ones in there, Ben. We're going to start, start, um, there we go. And they're going to carry on. And you'll see this when we start to build this up and the colours that I'm using. Again, what you can create. So I'm going to go in with different colour there. Well, that's a bit bigger. We'll go in with, we'll go in with mine that I've just done. <laughs> but these are absolutely beautiful floral dyes and the foam took a long time to get this foam to where we are do you know because the, you know leanne and the develop, product development team you know what they're like they get these ideas but they want to bring you the best the best that molds the best that you can add inks to without it distorting anything or doing anything to the foam um and that's what you can do you can add your pens to them as well there's lots of things you can do with them ben they're absolutely incredible that was one of the questions actually which we can sort of chat oh. about now yeah because um, uh, people are asking uh, like laura for example could you use regular craft foam for the flowers you could do but what we're saying is our foam is like the top notch isn't it it is because it's been specially designed to work with heat to create this lovely you know this molded feature yeah. that you get and it's been specifically designed for that and it is the top of its game it really is i've used foam uh, for a long time and you, I, I can promise you you will not get the same results with your own recraft foam that you would with this heat activated foam uh, so in, i hope that answered that question but um you will get a, you'll get um a similar look but not the same if that if that's the right way that i'm describing that and again you've got that lovely way that you can just start to move these around ben just give it a little twiddle while you've got it on your pokey tool till you get it into place so you create that lovely full feel to a flower i'll pop a couple more on because i'm um I've used quite a few different colors here yeah, as well why not? noticed uh, well i can can't you? you've you got that gorgeous you, yeah. form um but um, You'll be able to see, because I'm going to put these florals side by side so that you can see them. Oh, I forgot to put my middle bits in because I forgot these little features you can do with your little middles. <gasps> Never mind, I'm not going to worry too much. What I'm just going to do is, I'm going to pop one more on because I want to go big. I'm going big again, Ben. That's what we said, go big or go home. That's it. Come so on. I'm just spread it out. So I'm just spreading it all out. Yep. Popping that into the middle. Give it a little um, twiddle on the bottom. <laughs> twiddle. That's it. <laughs> What are you giggling at? Sorry, I just, be, just made me laugh a little twiddle on the bottom. A twiddle on the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> That's so childish, isn't it? Sorry, just the way you said it. Ooh, little twiddle on the bottom. Little twiddle on the bottom. <laughs> Again, what I'm doing is I'm just spreading out that middle so that I can get my pokey tool right through. And then mm. I'm going to get my stamen all ready. You do make me laugh, you miss. You, you make me laugh, Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to bring that right through. I'm going to use some of the metallics. Using my wire to guide through the hole that I've just created. 
spec savers here I come because mm -hmm. Debbie can't see the hole. Hang on a minute, let me see if I can grab another one. I'll grab a longer one. Oh, I'm glad you're doing that. My eyesight's terrible. My eyesight's got worse. Has just, it? Just a lately, yeah. Uh, when and I know that they're still operating and they're all, you know they're open, but I need to get myself booked in and go and get a new eye test. Actually, I had my letter saying, Debbie, you are overdue for your eye test. Um, uh. Boy, can I tell? Can you I got, tell? Um, you know, I've just got very focals now, didn't you? That shows how old I'm getting. I do, do you know, I never understand bifocals, verifocals and all those things. Well, I so understand. I have to wear my lenses all the time because my eyesight is terrible. Like, I take my lenses out now. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't think I'd be able to find my way out of the studio. Um, but, <laughs> so I've got that. I've got my lenses in to see day to day. But now when I read as well, my, my vision for reading has gone. So I was wearing my normal glasses and then uh -huh. my reading glasses on top. So the verifocals, I've got me distance and me normal wearing in the top part of the glasses and then me... Uh, short-sighted reading ones in the bottom, you see. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, bless you. Know. Well, getting I'll, old, Debbie, getting old. I am definitely getting old. Now, can you see, I've used the two different, I've used the same florals, but what I've done is kept it smooth, and this one is that lovely ruffled effect. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to trim this off, I'm going to grab me, um, me glue gun, and I'm going to attach it to my headband. There is other things as well in this kit that you've got, um, which is these beautiful, let me just... Let, spread this one out you've got these beautiful extras that you can cut out into the green so you can really do create some gorgeous florals here um and that's these lovely i mean these i can I, instantly i can see me craft you know doing lots of different with my crafts as in my card using these dies for card yeah. uh, honestly they're just fabulous and you do exactly the same you eat activate it cup it and then bring it up into the middle so there's lots of different ways you can use it you've got your foliage as well Le foliage. The foliage absolutely and i'm going to bring in my headband and headbands are cheap as chips you can pick a couple up for a, a couple of in fact you can pick up three in a well-known store three for a pound oh is that three one of those pound, pound stores uh, similar ah. to a pound store similar ah. is what i'm going to say then so what i'm going to do is bring in and i need to grab another uh, hot glue gun stick have we got the hot glue gun on the show today oh, yeah i've got it on the show it's only available in the uk though sadly uh and we got um the glue sticks to go with it as well haven't we which is rather marvelous yeah. uh details coming up on your screen here uh, 10 glue sticks included for 9.99 10 percent saving uh, you're actually only paying for the glue gun as well because those glue sticks come for free uh, and you get triple points today as well which is rather rather marvelous um keep all the questions coming by the way we will do a q a session with debbie very very shortly indeed and i've just been notified by our uh, our social media team that uh, bernie has been working on a limerick uh, <laughs> loads of you asking for an easter limerick on softer side she's gone home she's written a limerick and we will have the premiere of her easter limerick uh, in just a little while and it's a good one it's a good oh one. i'm looking i am looking forward to hearing <laughs> a bernie special that's what i'm looking forward to now i've put one of my big roughly ones on there i've put a couple of pieces of foliage i'm gonna bring in one of my small ones and um, I'm just going to chop that off for a second, Ben, because I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Uh, but do you know if you were doing weddings and things like that, you could be doing this as a little business. Absolutely. Um, where you could be making things for uh, brides with, yeah. you know, headbands, little cors cors is corsage. That, is that the thing around the wrist? You can do that with your wrist. What's they called? The corsage. What's, what's the corsage? What is the corsage? I thought that was the one thing you put. Oh, no, I've probably got that. Buttonholes. You could Button do buttonholes. Um, what is the corsage? What's the corsage? Is that the one that you put in your pocket? Is that... No, oh. I don't know. Johnny! Debbie! Is it corsage round your wrist, Johnny? Isn't that a bracelet? Well, I thought that were a bracelet. No. <laughs> Hang on, Johnny will know. He's, he's well up on uh, wedding accessories. He'll tell us. <laughs> He'll know. But I've actually finished that because I'm not going to go too mad because you could... You could... Oh, we're well, right first time then. I will yeah, right first time. Yeah, corsage round yeah. your wrist. A bouquet Absolutely. of flowers. And uh, this is exactly what you can be making. So that's my lovely headband done there now already. And again, what would you charge for something like this if you were making it for your own business uh, or simply for a family wedding or something like that? Or if you just want to be like us, Ben, and wear it because it's... Uh, it's a very pretty, pretty, pretty Sunday very best. floral uh, headband. But very, very easy to do. Super easy to do. And with all the kits, that's what you can... You, honestly, you're going to love making these florals. You really will. Some brilliant demonstrations. And actually, what I love about this more than anything is it's so approachable. It's so easy to do. Um, and again, so many different things from card embellishments, from home decor pieces, from adorning gifts from 
making things for weddings. And like um, Debbie was saying, do you know what? If you were thinking of a bit of a side hustle, making a bit of money off the back of this, if you can do it, why not do it? For weddings, for example, for birthdays, whatever it might be. Again, making these headbands, how simple and easy was that? Pick up a few of these, you know, what did you say? Three for a quid, you can pick them up some places, uh, decorate them up, how much could you sell them for? What I will say to you is though, this spring flower forming collection, that we got back in stock is very, very close to going limited stock now. That means we're getting down to the last 10% of the stock remaining. So if you're thinking about getting it, please, for goodness sake, get it in your basket now. If you missed out last time, don't miss out this time and get it with triple points as well. Thank you for all the suggestions, by the way, about the finger toboggan slash the finger clog. Uh, it seems that everyone thinks we should combine the two uh, and call it a finger to cloggan which I really like. So thank you for all of that. Uh, the finger to cloggan is how it will now be known. Right, question and answer session coming up in a second. But before that, let us have a look at a starter set for you. Because if you are brand new to this today and you're thinking to yourself, I'd like to give this a go actually, but I don't want to go for a full collection. I just want a few bits and pieces to get me started, enough so I can start making me flowers to see what it's all about. And I want it on a really great deal. Well, we've put that together for you because we think of absolutely everything. This is the flower forming starter kit, 14 elements, and you're going to get your sheets of foam included in here too. There's the nice price for you. £35 or $50 is the deal on that. If you're a platinum member, that's £28 or $40 today, and it's triple points. What are you going to get though in the kit? I hear you cry. What are you going to get? I'll show you. You're going to get loads of different dyes to be able to create all of these gorgeous flowers so you're going to be able to create your gorgeous lily and actually like um debbie was saying a little bit earlier on these are, these are sort of flowers by name if you like i mean that one i suppose is your clover whichever way you look at it but with a lot of them you know you can change the color you can shape them a little bit differently and create something uh you know which is completely different there's your rose as well so three die sets included within that bundle which is absolutely brilliant on top of that you're going to get your tacky glue so you're going to need your glue, obviously, to be sticking with. You're going to need some flower forming foam, are you not, to use with your dyes? Well, we've got that covered off for you as well because we're throwing into the bundle your uh, floral bouquet, seven sheets of your gorgeous um, uh, pastel colours in there, and you've got some foliage to go with it as well. So 14 sheets of your foam is included with those dyes, with the glue. But I need some stamens, I hear you cry. I need some stamens. Then you're going to get some stamens as well. You've also got in there your natural whites and your floral bouquet stamens uh, two. 35 or 50 pounds is the deal um, and triple points on that as well. So a really nice collection to get you going, to get you started. Um, so you don't have to spend a huge amount of money. Right. Uh, get your Easter pictures in, by the way. We are uh, almost halfway through the show, and at the end of the show, we will be picking somebody to go into our Easter egg uh, on Monday Makers tomorrow. Everyone who's managed to have their pictures shown on the screens will be in with a chance of winning £50 or $50 to spend with us here at Crafters Companion. All you've got to do right now is send in an Easter picture. So it may be an Easter card that you've made, an Easter project, an Easter bonnet. Uh, maybe it's a picture of you stuffing your face this morning with all your Easter chocolate. Whatever you want it to be. That would be a good picture. We, we like the sounds of that. Um, send in the picture, studio at craftlesscompanion.co.uk and if we show your picture at the end of the show, you will go into our egg to stand the chance of winning that prize tomorrow. We're going to do a demo from um, this particular kit just now. Do you want a few questions though, Debbie, seeing as it is a craft class? Uh, yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'll try and, we'll try and make these fairly quick fire. So let us... Oh, I lost my place now. Hang on a minute. Hold the line, please, caller. Wait there. <laughs> Uh, right, so let us ask you this one. Teresa on Facebook says, what determines which ball to use for your flowers? Depending on what size of a cup you want. Or to, uh, it's a good question, actually, because I use my bigger bottles for my bigger... bigger, bigger <laughs> bigger size, yeah, thank you. The bigger size petals. Yep. When I want to create something with that lovely cup feature where you can create that little bud in the centre, use the smallest one on your smaller ones. But... You can, and you'll get different effects. You can run these across all of your petals as well as the middles. Um, and honestly, I would do the smallest for the smallest, the larger for the larger, but have a little play as well so you can see the different effects that you will get with your different size of petals, if that makes sense. It certainly does. Uh, Leslie Meffin wants to know, could you use a heat tool instead of an iron to shape them? Ooh! 
Oh, now then, a heat mm. tool. So heat tool as in a hot I think, gun? Yeah, that's what, like a... The, yeah, the heat tool, tool as in... To, what, hot, yeah, and hold them with tweezers. As in one of these. Do you know mm. what? Might have to unravel and have a little look. Oh, Might have to have a little ravel and look because I'll be totally honest with you. One thing I will always tell you is, I'm totally honest. I only ever use a high, you know, an iron, a craft iron or a hot iron. Uh, so we'll give it a go. I would Excuse imagine me a minute. I would imagine it'd be a little bit more fiddly. I suppose if you have, we'll have an a iron, go. you could you could try. Debbie is going to have a go with it for you. Look at that. You see, we're going to get her improving over the other side of the studio, um, <laughs> and uh, get her to have a go with that. And also, um, record wants to know when building the flowers how do you stop the flowers ripping um, I use the vintage lace flower dies and I struggle building the flower right so I'm trying to think of the vintage which one with the vintage one all oh, my days we've have released that we've released that many different ones to stop it from ripping as in mean when you fluffed it and you want to shape it or just be more gentle it. with yeah. it um, but I'm trying to think of the vintage oh dear my days I'm trying to think of the vintage dye the vintage floral dye it's been a while since I've worked with it, Ben. So um, I would I would just say if you're doing that petal effect where you're ruffling it, just be careful. If you've only got like a small bed, so on the clover, we've got the clover, the lily, and the um, rose, traditional rose in the. Um, starter kit yeah the different size of flower beds in the middle so you'll get a small one uh, the, the the actual traditional rose ones are quite a nice large one if you're doing that when you're eat, eat activating make sure you're not going too too hot or too do you, do you know what i mean taking it on too long holding it on too long is what i'm saying and shrinking it more uh, because it will it will detract from your center which is where when you're popping it in you've got to be careful that you don't rip off and pe pieces come off so just make sure uh, that you have got it and and you can see with this one i'll just pop that on there for a second it's now i've molded this one it's only got a small center so do make sure when you're going in your small center that you're going right in the center yeah. it's very difficult when you're especially when you're layering up and i'll just pop that one to the side of it just for a second what i mean is when you're layering up once you've gone in and then you're going into the next one it's it's quite difficult to see so just tilt it when you're going in so that you can make sure you're going into the center each and every single time so i hope that i hope that little bit helped um i think it did yeah and one more for now patty on facebook says what are the templates made of um, um oh nice easy one your, your stencils so what we yeah. make stencils with that's the same material that we make our templates with so that's what it will be with that lovely box the box one that we have that's probably gone limited even more now uh, but yeah they're made of that same material that a stencil is made from so like your milos and duplex and things like that that's what they're made from so it's very strong and durable so it's going to last you a long long time they're not something that's just gonna you know yeah. not gonna break or anything like that it's a long lasting durable uh, material that it's made from brilliant i tell you what there's so many more questions coming in but we'll have a break on the questions for now and um, we'll come back to some more a little bit later on so last time we uh, checked we were going to do a little demo with the starter kit so what can you show us from that Debbie? right so you are getting these three different styles here so on here you are i mean not just all the the foam as well but you're getting three different sizes um, of petals again we've got that lovely lily which is a gorgeous one and you've seen one ready raring to go that have got that gorgeous lily and that's a beautiful one honestly you can add your inks your pens and things like that to it to create something really lovely you've got the gorgeous clover and the clover a really big flower again um, and again depending on how you're going to use it you can create some different effects every single time and then my favorite is this beautiful traditional rose from the rose garden collection and on here you've got three different size petals from your small to your largest and then you've got your little bottom piece as well which i just think is absolutely beautiful so again it's entirely up to you. Now, I've already pre-cut some because I wanted to speed that process up. You don't want to keep seeing me die cutting, you know, the same flowers out each and every single time. So I've tried to speed it up a little bit uh, just by cutting them out. So I've used, and can I bring that? Have you got, did you, fl did you flick through them gorgeous colours of the floral bouquet? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. want some? No, no, it's fine. No, oh. I'm just joking. They're more of a pastel colour, so they've got this beautiful pastel colour running through them. So I've already done loads. I mean, you can see here, oh, yeah. again, popping it through your machine, you can create four large petals at each one time. And again, if you're going to use your Gemini, um, you're going to be able to get all these petals on one plate at the same time as well. And, and multi-layer, multi-cut is the word I'm looking for. 
looking for. So that's my beautiful rows all pre-cut and we're just going to do exactly the same. Now, I have already pre-cut um, the um, lily and I've had actually, do you know our alcohol pens? Can oh, yeah. you see in the centre? I've just added an alcohol pen and drawn a couple of pieces on there, but you can ink these so you can take your inks and I'll do that on another later on. I'll, uh, through the show, I'll do that for you so you can see. And I've already shaped these already, but again, we'll go through each individual one so that you can see how you can create them. And again, all those are already ready pre Eat activated. I'm trying to think of the words. You'll have to excuse me. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to do it with the rose. So again, we're going to go in with that lovely rose. Grab Ooh. a ball tool. Don't forget to try your heat tool as well. Oh, yes. Uh, actually, let's just put that iron to one side because I'm all ready. You have to I've got use it on. tweezers though, wouldn't you? You would have to use your tweezers because I'm telling you, you, would, you need to be careful of your fingers. So grab yourself a pair of tweezers. And if you are going to hold it, hold it into place. I'm trying to do it without... Now then, who asked, who asked the question? Uh, it was from, oh, hang on a minute. Hold the line caller. Hold the line caller. Uh, it was... Uh, uh, Leslie. Leslie, yes, you can. Way, there yes, you, go, you can. So you can use that as well if you want to do it. But you are going to have to hold it down. But it has been activated with heat. So again, you can take it on and you can start to shape it again. So absolutely, you can use well, we've all your heat today, gum. We? There you go. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't got an iron or you don't feel comfortable using an iron, then absolutely use your heat tool. Uh, but again, let's go on there. So pop that on. But you get instant. You do get an instant result with these they're just super quick and super easy to pop on pop on longer you want it on and the longer you leave it on you can see just that curling pop that down but that means it cups a little bit more i think what we'll do is we'll do that lovely bubble that i saw i was talking oh, yeah, about bubble. a minute ago yeah we'll do the bubble um and we might do a little bit with the finger what to do you call it to the what eh? that, well we've compromised now because lots of people like your finger clog and lots of people like my toboggan so apparently we're compromising <laughs> and calling it this is really hard to say a finger to cloggin a finger to cloggin yeah Yee, i like that finger to cloggin <laughs> oh let me just show you as well do you know what we say it's once it's activated if you're not happy with the shape you can yeah. go back on and you can redo it oh, so okay. just another little thing if you're not happy with your shape you can go back on there and activate that as well so that's us all done there so i think let's bring back in the little finger clog we'll give it a little ruffle and a little to cloggin to cloggin we'll what give is it, it actually called do you know it's been a long time since I've had, what's it actually called? A distress oh, a distress tool. tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know if somebody's tuning better. in and they're like, what on earth? Well, yeah. And they start, they start looking for that in the search engine, they'll be like, what the heck? <laughs> It'll come up with a blank search, won't it? We'll get, them to <laughs> we'll get Sarah to change the name of it. Sarah, <laughs> got an idea. Any chance we can call it a tacloggan? A tacloggan. <laughs> <laughs> but again, really easy to do. So all I'm doing, again, it's just repeating there. And the more you want a distress petal, the more you longer you leave it on there. But I'm just going to do this off with a few of these. Okay. Uh, ben. Um, a few comments then whilst you're doing that. Uh, Mary Lee says, I got the new spring foam yesterday along with the poppy dyes. I'll be working on these later today, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm still in lockdown. Thank you for the great tutorial, Debbie. Uh, Debbie Tomlinson says, OK, two orders later and I'm finally done getting all the flowers I want. Amazing triple points. Don't forget until the end of play tomorrow. And Mary Lee on YouTube says, I didn't think I'd like making these flowers. Oh. Too fiddly, I thought. <laughs> then I tried some and now I'm hooked. Exactly. I love that they don't smash in the mail as well, yep. which is good. Um, Helen's just saying, I'm going to a wedding in September. I think I'll have a, uh, to make something to put in my hair. Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. I love this flower forming, says Beads and Stones. Must buy a kit today. Uh, and Claire Moore on Facebook says, I've ordered the flower foaming tools this morning. I'm hoping to make lovely canvases for my bedroom using them. Don't forget, if you um, have, like Sheila as well, just ordered a collection and lots of the foam to join us on Wednesday with uh, Sarah at 3 o'clock. UK time for the flower forming 
craft along. And I've seen what she's doing, Ben. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen a sneaky peek. Sneaky peeky. Sneaky peeky. I had a little sneaky peek. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you're really going to enjoy that. And obviously, you, she's going to take you through eight individual step-by-step -step tuition. If you've watched any of our craft alongs, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've never watched a craft along before, it's step-by-step-by-step -step -step tutorial. Really nice, uh, nice slow pace where you can craft along with our lovely Sarah to build up exactly what she's going to be making. You're going to be blown away, honestly. It's just fabulous. Now, we're talking about those ball tools again. So again, you've got all these to choose from. So you've got all these different sizes, depending on the effect that you're going for. Now, I'm just going to unruffle mine a little bit. Uh, and I'm, because these are a smaller petal on some of the smaller ones, I'm just taking that in there. If you go with the big one, you can see you'll get a different effect because it spreads across there. You probably can get it done a little bit quicker, actually but you've got to be careful Ben because you don't want to rip anything so I always I always um is it the side of caution err on the side of, oh, caution? The side of caution yeah 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 so and I'm just going in just literally just refluffing but you could again take this and shape it a little bit more it's entirely up to you how you do these and create this different effect each and every single time so i'm just going to carry on there but is there any more questions or anything oh, while i'm shaping lots. these um, so Gilmore wants to know go then does the foil press machine get hot enough to use with fl floral foam? Now, the foil press machine does get hot, so um, you could try it, is what I would say. Um, obviously, um, I mean, it's not being designed for that no. purpose, is what I would say. It's not designed for that purpose. So it's like with anything. Um, think about the heat appliance. I mean, I'm taking it that everybody's got an iron at home. I would As think most households must have an iron, mustn't yeah. they? Yeah. As most crafters got a heat tool, yeah. a gun, you know, a heat gun. So use one of those. Yeah, use one of those. Um, I would, I would save your foil press for its intended use, which is the foil press mm. itself, because it does get hot and it is a silicon plate. Um, but um, personally, I would steer clear of me, uh, of me foil press. Now we do have a few of the florist box templates available for you on the website, and Deborah's saying I have that template but I've not seen the box demonstrated and made up with flowers in as a complete project. Well, Do we have to make stems to fix them in? Oh, well, that sounds like you have an answer. Well, well. you can. You, I have got one planned, actually, for this today. I've got one planned to make one of those boxes. So, yes, you can. Um, you don't have to put them in. You could actually just wrap your fl flowers up without the use of the stems. Stems, obviously, in the Oasis part will make it look realistic. Uh, but if you haven't got that, you can literally put your flowers together, wrap them up and stick them in the box so no you don't have to have all that um, you know all the uh, regala regala is Come that on. the right word the regal yeah. Regala, regal regalia, yeah regalia yeah yeah absolutely but i'll show you that when we come to that as well ben so i've got all my florals they're all ready to put together i think we might go all the way around let's let's see how my ruffle feather look feather my ruffle flower looks when it's the other way around so i'm going to go in middle one again right into the middle right into the center and this time i'm doing it on that bubble shape but a bubble ruffled a bubble ruffled bubble ruffle a bubble ruffle yeah it is a bubble ruffle isn't it <laughs> uh, but you can alternate bubbles, yeah you can alternate between the two and you'll create a different kind of flower so this time i've gone um upwards so let's go upwards let's go in and go up and you'll create a really beautiful you can see it already coming to shape uh, coming to shape uh, but honestly, Ben, oh, the fun you have with these. The fun you have with these Super flowers. Super addictive, honestly. They I are. I just think that you'll be making these forever and a day. Um, lots of love for my headband particularly still coming in. And Sheila wants to know which flower was used for your headband. I want to say, looking through, that this was the Vibrant Dianthus. Is that right? Uh, without Aunt Ben, what did I tell you about my eyes? Oh, I would say... it's. I would say it's that one. It is. Look. It's that one, the Dian, no you can't, yeah, the Dianthus I would say. <laughs> I would say that's what it is, with the ruffled edges. Why, you all wanting to make my headband, is that what it is? You, ah, you, all you wanting see, to, the loving yeah. your headband, that's uh, it, Ben. <laughs> oh, my husband says to uh, producer Johnny, I think it's a great look, I really do. And honestly, um, if there are any gents watching who haven't worn a headband before, I can vouch for how comfortable they are, and actually, how stylish they are as well. <laughs> Uh, they are very comfy, they are indeed. Now again, I've got my stamens through there, um, Ben, and all I'm going to do is just twiddle it into place, offset them, just give it a little, 
a uh, little final manipulation. You can ruffle it while it's in your fingers. You can shape it while it's in your fingers because it's been heat activated and now it's ready. It's, you know, it's, it's perfect for all your molding. And again, a really beautiful different style of floral. And I'll show you the one that I did yesterday. But again, I'm just going to pop. In fact, actually, I'm not going to put any glow at back. Just keep it like that for the time being so that you can see. That is my beautiful ruffled feather, my lovely fluffy feathered flower but again a fluffy feathered flower fluffy, made from the fluff, floor of flowing foam yeah but again <laughs> <laughs> i mean look how gorgeous these look and this is it in red this is the one that i did it in red but look how gorgeous they look honestly ben what more can i say these I look absolutely stunning and can i just show you my lily shall we just show you the lily so i've got my little lily out i'm going to pop it on this way so i've got me two let me get my two petals together i'm going to go in with that middle and then I'm going to go in and just offset that because obviously it's a lily. So we'll go in, taking, and we're talking about that middle bit and making sure you don't rip it. Did you notice that I took my time going through that middle to make yes. sure that I got that the right way? And there you've created your little lily once you've put your stamen through it. And you get your stamens. I'm just going to keep your poker tool there for the time being. Put your stamen through there. And there you go. And again, because I'm putting no glue down, I can manipulate it back into shape. But there we are, ready to add to our project. Fantastic. You've just reminded me of a question which I missed from earlier. Roberta saying, could you ask Debbie to tell us what the spool of wire says on it for size? What size is the wire that you use? It is a 22, uh, well, it's, it's 22 metres, but it's a 28 gauge. Right. Gauge. 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 That word. Gauge. That word. Yes. That thing. Yeah. Good. Excellent news. Uh, I mean, how amazing is this? Uh, Hannah says, I've just been flower forming this morning. It is so addictive. If you've never done this before, you need to give it a go because, as I said, you can use this in so many different projects. It's nice and simple and uh, super duper easy to use, particularly if you just want to get started. This flower forming starter kit is absolutely brilliant. All of the dyes that you're going to get to make all of the different flowers. Then, of course, you've got stamens to go with it as well. And then we've got given you um, your uh, foam for your foliage, your floral bouquet in there as well, and you've got your glue. So everything that you need right there for 35 or 50, less 20% if you're a platinum member. So that comes out to 28 pounds or $40. And you get triple points on all of this today as well. So it's a great way to get started with your flower forming. And like Hannah, who's just messaged there, you'll do one, uh, you'll do two, you'll do three, and before you know it, you'll probably be like Debbie and you'll have bags full of these flowers to make all sorts of different things with because they're super handy. Right, there's loads of you with items in your basket. Let me give you fair warning here and say if you've got the brand new um, spring collection in your basket, you need to be checking that out now because that is going to go. Uh, and also, uh, other items on the show you need to be getting into your basket to check out. We're going to give you a, uh, a checkout uh, chance in just a few moments before that, though, uh, let's just quickly see the finish of the card. I'm getting ahead of myself here, Debbie. I'm you getting were getting ahead of sorry, yourself. Sorry. Yeah, I've not, even, I've not even put it together yet, but I've just been putting my base together, Ben. I'll let you off. I've just been putting my base together and popped a little sentiment on there. And then I'm just going to add my florals. So I'm going to bring back in my glue gun. Got a couple of little, um, again, lovely little foliage pieces. Uh, just compose, pop it together. Take care when you are using a hot glue gum yeah. uh, because it is extremely hot. So just please be careful when you are Don't using rush, them. Don't rush. Take your time. I feel like take you're rushing your now because I've rushed you into it. So it's just, all right. It's you all take right. Your time ben. Over there. It's all right. I'll let you off. I'll no. let you off. Uh, I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you. Yes, it's quite all right. It's quite all right. So I'm just going to pop that on. I'm going to pop a little. Um, let me pop one of me um, me lilies on there as. Uh, me, Yep, there, put me a little lily on there as well. Um, and again, you can have some real good fun with these. Card making, headbands, corsages. Is that the right word? Corsage. Corsage. Cor yeah, cor <laughs> I'm getting it a new word. Getting it a new one. The corsage <laughs> is the one on your wrist, isn't it? We found out. It is indeed. And it the, is indeed. The one that goes in your in your button is a boutonniere, apparently. A boutonniere. Boutonniere. A bo oh. I'd imagine there could be some foliage in your boutonniere, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gone boutonniere i thought he plays for psg oh what you like <laughs> <laughs> bit of a football oh, joke there for you on easter but sunday there you go you can use these for whatever way whether you want to do card making whether you want to pop them into a box whether you want to pop it into an headband whatever way it is that you want to do what about wall hangings producer johnny great idea home decor pieces what about picture frames decorate around your picture frame um honestly there's so many ways you can use them you You've got the kits, you've got the tools. 
just have a play with them and you will be able to honestly create these things with ease because we've done all the hard work for you you just need to have a good old play to create these beautiful florals you certainly do and i tell you what hasn't today if you've caught the shows already if you haven't go back and watch on youtube subscribe but the shows today have brought so many amazing demos um we will be looking at the demo of the show in just a little while and of course uh whichever you vote for the demo of the show will go up against uh, bernie's wall hanging from earlier on which is unbelievable listen let's give you time now to check out your baskets whatever you've got in your basket now is the time to check it out because you've got two minutes whilst we give you the uh, information about club inspire i would say 99 percent of you know all about that so now is the time to get checking out those baskets you won't miss a thing and we'll come back with more demos in a couple of minutes welcome to club inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. Right, got some bad news for you. The spring flower forming collection, which was back in stock after it sold out previously, is now limited stock there's green on the screen which means i like that debbie um so there you go green on the <laughs> oh, you can't find the there would be green on the screen but it now can't be found so it, it is limited stock just to let you know just before we move on very quickly as well i did mention earlier on that our uh, bernie had written her easter limerick which oh i can't wait um so it's now for time for the premiere of Bernie's Limerick on your Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, everybody. There once was an Easter bunny on chocolate. He spent all his money. But disaster soon struck. As he ran out of luck, it all melted because it was sunny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bernie. Smashing it with your demos today and your limericks as well. I tell you what, absolutely brilliant. She's done a show, been home, had her dinner, written limerick. I mean, she's fighting for, writ, fighting fires all over the place. Brilliant stuff. Right. Um, the spring flower forming foam collection is, um, gone, is, has gone limited. I can't speak. I'm so excited. Right. L let's have a look at the uh, winter flower forming collection. So this was launched um, back end of last year, wasn't it? Yes. And um, very, very popular it was too. So within this... Oh, hello. Within this collection, <laughs> you're oh, falling to pieces. Uh, you're going to get uh, your poinsettia dies. So again, with this different shape, size of your dies to be able to create um, your gorgeous poinsettias. Now, um, on top of that, uh, you've also got uh, your Christmas rose. Again, all those dies include to be able to uh, create those beautiful, beautiful uh, flowers. Then, um, on top of that, you've got your uh, Foliage. You've also got, what are you laughing at in there? What's so funny? They're laughing in. What's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't hear that, sorry. Oh dear. 
Uh, you've then got um, you've then got your uh, Christmas holly in there as well. That is included. Uh, you're also going to get your pa your pine cone. Uh, that's within this set as well. Unbelievable, absolutely gorgeous. First time I've seen anything like that, actually. Your pine cone, obviously we've seen flowers, but I love this set for the fact that you have got the ability to pop that pine cone together. Um, and then you've got your autumn hues um, in your uh, flower forming foam as well. So there's gorgeous um, autumn hues colors included within that collection. So your autumn leaves, your holly, your, uh, your Christmas rose, your poinsettia, um, and also on top of that, you've got your pine cone foliage and uh, your autumn hues. 37 quid. Wow, really? That's amazing. Actually, Ben, I actually, do you know, I just thought then I was going to question you because I thought, £37 pound for all that is an amazing price, let me tell you. That is really, really good. 25%, wow. We are really having a nice Easter bonanza here, aren't we? You, I love you it. You certainly are. And <laughs> triple point. I'm just checking it. That is right. Wow. Uh, 37 or 47, less than 20%. And you're getting triple points as well. That's 29.60 if you platinum them, or 37.60 if you're shopping with this in the States. So if you've missed out on the winter flower forming foam collection, Today is a great day to grab it and lots of people are going for it as well. And that's what we're going to be concentrating on next with uh, Debbie. Um, just a few more comments before we go, because loads of you have been getting in touch. Lots of you coming out and saying, Do you know what, uh, how much you love your flower forming and how addictive it uh, is. Laura saying, I love flower forming now. Uh, only started a couple of weeks ago. Um, and Aisha just saying, so beautiful. I'm learning uh, that the more petals, the better. Um, Hannah says, I've been flower forming this morning. So, so addictive. That's the thing with it as well. You know, if you want to go completely over the top with these, particularly with the spring flower forming foam collection where you get the templates, you can really supersize your project. So again, perfect for um, those boutonnieres, perfect for those corsages, for your headbands and so much more. Uh, but whatever you go for, you'll find out how simple it is to be able to put these flowers together, to do the actual forming of the flowers and then to be able to piece them. You can make them as big and as grand as you want them to be uh, for whatever the project might be. If you go back to the launch show of this as well, which was on the 25th of March, uh, if you subscribe to us on YouTube, it's probably the best way to find it. Uh, you'll see Sarah's demo there where she um, decorated a mirror and it was absolutely stunning. Again, so for home decor projects, these really are the bee's knees. Right, let us get over to the other side at studio and see what um, Debbie is up to. So you're going to be working with the winter collection. Yes, correct? I've got the Christmas rose and the poinsettia. I've already kind of cut done the cutting again, but really very straightforward. They'll go in your small machines as well as your bigger machines, depending on how many flowers you want to cut out at any one time. Uh, but these will go through. Don't forget to multi-layer up. And I'm just looking for a piece of um, piece of foam if you're going in with your mini fold it over so i'll just show you you fold it into half and fold it into half again and then you can layer up all your flowers onto there run them through your mini and you can create some beautiful features and you can do this the same sorry multiple layers in that one pass of the mini stop it there god 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 completely distracted, uh, that you can do that with your Gemini machines as well, so your electronic machines. And to be fair, if you've got quite a few different flowers at the same time, you could cut out a mammoth amount in one pass. If you're going to use your A4 machine, you could pull layer up four lots of foam on there, put all your flowers on and get loads cut out in any one time. That's what I do. That's exactly what I do. I cut out loads and then they're all ready to go. So it's simple. These are beautiful. Let me just show you that Christmas rose. It's just gorgeous. A beautiful, and I mean, look at in these gorgeous colours again, these foams. Mm. I've done my poinsettia one and I've cut that out into red. So we've got all those ready. So what we're going to do is start to eat, activate and build this up. And again, we call it a Christmas rose and you've got that lovely... Um, inspiration to look at on the sheet but you can make whatever you want and look at the different colors that you've got in that beautiful autumn use they are gorgeous did you flick through those colors as well ben uh, well i do you know what i showed i can flick through the pack if you want i showed i just showed the 
Oh, pack. beautiful. So you've got those gorgeous warm tones in there. I thought I'd got mine out, but you've got like a... In fact, I have. Let me I can open it up out. if you want. I just get it's in trouble sometimes. You've got, it's like... because you've got different colours. You can see here you've got that lovely, like um, a real lovely... I mean, they've got that beautiful warm autumn feel to this that beautiful autumnal colors in there so absolutely gorgeous and again especially if you're going to make your pine cones and things like that they just look sensational i will say with your pine cone a little bit of time's needed because you've got to build it up but the results are phenomenal once you've got them built up so again all we're going to do and i'll start with my smaller ones here ben let me grab myself my ball tool again i'm going to go in let's just hold that onto the iron and again oh i've got two there I did two at the same oh, hello. time hello um but again just just pop a few on the no fan don't don't blow me petals off fan come on so, fan. Uh, exactly so let's just pop that on there let that activate flop that off and that's all you do every single one of these how hot do you have your iron says debbie tomlinson so it is on the hot setting so the higher the setting the better because you get an instant result however if you see me with my craft iron which is what i usually demonstrate with just takes a little bit more time on a craft iron because it doesn't it doesn't get as hot as what a domestic iron gets but this one that we use in the studio is just one of those really you know they're not not very inexpensive they're not expensive an inexpensive iron that you can pick for seven eight pound up in the stores and again just dropping these down onto there you could have them ready to drop onto your mat ready to start um doing your dish you know doing your molding uh, but literally the, the hotter the setting you wouldn't have a fan blowing on it ben let me just tell you you wouldn't be having a fan blowing at the same time like we've got in here but uh, yeah you just have it on the heat the higher the setting the better the result um and again when we talk about this formulated foam that has been specially designed to work with the heat and the way that this does it holds the foam once it's done once it's been heat activated it holds its shape and do you and do the same with your foliage as well because uh, someone yes. was asking who was it yep. denise was saying uh like with leaves so with leaves and your your foliage do you do exactly the same with those Right, right, so I've got one of my leaves on. Oh, here we go. Exactly the same. Go, so Debbie. you just pop that on there and flop that down, and it's exactly the same. You do that and shape it. It's ready now to be moulded into its shape. So it's heat activated, and now we're ready. And I'll, do, I'll pop a couple of bigger ones on here. Uh, but it's just, it's honestly, when who, who was that lovely lady that made the comment about it being addictive? Because it so that is. And once you start, it's very hard to stop. Yeah. It really is. So again, just pop that on and drop that off. Hannah, and we'll do that a couple of times. Hannah said she's addicted to it. It is. It's very addictive. They're all yeah. ready to now shape and mould. So I'm up that to one side. I'm going to do exactly the same with my poinsettia. So I'll get you my poinsettia on. Drop that off. It's now ready to mould. And I'll do that again. But I have got a few already done. So pop it on. Eat, activate it. Knock it off. And it's ready to start shaping. So let me just move that upside down back to front dearie me in fact i'm just gonna add one more one more for good luck there we go so i'll just pop that down that's all the um heat setting done bring back in your foam that you're getting with your ball tools and now you can start to do your shaping and dependent on what kind of floral so i was talking about the sizes here this is one of the bigger ones so you just spread those petals out and then you start to shape and you can go in with your ball tool and just manipulate and move that form around into the shape that you want your petals to be in yes really really easy if you're going in with um let's go in with a small one because i've got a small one here take that spread it out again just spread all those out and then push push it down and cup it around and again you can you can do that with the bigger ones as well as the smaller ones as well but you'll still get the same same kind of texture they're all back in stock as well the biggest balls in craft <laughs> uh, so if you want to grab it and you get your you get your free you can uh, people won't know what i'm talking about you can get your biggest balls in craft with a free finger to clog and uh, there's, a, there's a sentence I thought I'd never say. Uh, but you get all of your uh, flower forming uh, ball tools uh, with your foam and your little um, petal distresser as well, if we're giving it its true name. Um, but those were out of stock last time we had uh, this show, now back in stock at 14 99 or 19.95. Also, don't forget as we sort of uh, roll towards the last half hour, do send in your pictures for Easter. Particularly like to see people eat, eating their Easter eggs. I don't know. Have you had, have you had, have you had loads sent in, Johnny? Oh, we've had none yet. 
I've, I, I've seen little, my, uh, my, my daughter sent me a, pic, uh, a video, sorry, a video of Sapphire doing a little Easter egg hunt Aww. around the front room with a little Easter basket trying to find a kinder eggs. And she did them in like places like her wellies and things like that and in, on, a ki on a little easel. And that was, I, honestly, it brought a tear to me. It was so lovely Aww. to see. Because it's so lovely, isn't it, with, um, you know, when, when you see things like do you know, that. Do you know what? Um, I'm going back home tonight, obviously. So uh, apparently the Easter Bunny he has been to our house and delivered eggs to the children but um we're saving my, one of my favorite things to do easter is the easter egg hunt and it's kind of my little thing to do to set the clues and stuff so we're going to be doing that tomorrow uh Monday, around around the garden and around the house i like to make it really difficult for the kids so they earn them do you know what i mean you don't want to make it, <laughs> don't make it too easy do some really like cryptic clues you need to be kind of like a, a mensa member to be able to solve them and you give them the clues at sort of 10 o'clock in the morning sometimes they can be out till six o'clock at night trying to find the eggs it's brilliant bit of peace and quiet <laughs> Uh, and they burnt off all the calories before they eat the eggs, you see. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's what you have to do. <laughs> oh, bless you. How old are your kiddies? Uh, my George is, well, he's 13 uh, next week. I can't believe it. Nearly 13. Um, and Daisy is nine. So she's, she's sort of more into it, I think. But he, he's, quite a, he's quite a nice big brother in that he, he likes to sort of help his little sister, you know, do all these things. And he, I think he gets involved. Um, just for sort of that reason, and then you'll probably you'll probably steal her eggs later on as well. Right? <laughs> be, Typi typical siblings there, <laughs> typical siblings. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now I've got most of those all shaped and ready. So all we're going to do now is put these together. Again, if you want to create a different effect, you could do your ruffle feature. Uh, if you want to do that bubble feature, just turn them over and create a different effect. Just remember though, you've got a smaller surface area here, so make sure you go in that centre. Um, but you can twit, you can mess around with them you can have a play with them so you can go in one cup one bubble and you create a lovely little effect straight away so this is all about having a play yes we're giving them names that you can create your beautiful florals with but the way that you're going to be able to use these ben means that you've got multiple ways multiple different flowers they're almost looking like a daffodil this one isn't it well, with the colour the tones they're all named yeah various flowers but you can make them whatever flower you want them to be yeah right? absolutely you know i mean i've never seen a christmas rose have you ben uh if i've seen one i didn't know that i had <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what a point. I know. I know a point set here, but no, I don't think I ever seen. I've ever seen a Christmas rose. Johnny, <laughs> producer What's Johnny, Johnny say? Gone, he said the the only Christmas roses he's ever seen are the ones that come in the boxes that you eat. The, <laughs> the chocolates he's talking about. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Typical. <laughs> Dear Johnny, what you like? We we have quality <laughs> streets at Christmas in our house. Not not roses. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Is the Quality Street the posh ones? Are they? Oh, Quality Street, Quality Street's posh. That's why I have them then, isn't it? That's why you, you know, that's why you're on the roses, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm just moving, manoeuvring this around again. Just keep poking through. Make sure you've got it right in the centre of each single one. Dependent on the size of the flower, but dependent on the surface area in the middle. And it does make a difference making sure you get through the centre. And that's what can make the difference with your flower breakage, if that makes any sense, Ben. Yeah. Uh, but again, I've just, I'm just going to spread it out because I'm quite happy with that one. I think that's really quite pretty. I could carry on, uh, but I've got another enough there to make another one. So um, that's what we'll do in a minute. So what we're just going to do, look, static again. It does happen so you're not alone but you just pop that off and it's fine uh, but what i'm going to do now is put a stamen through the middle of this one so again i've got loads already pre-made up what can you do to get the static off your hands i mean can you put like powder on your fingers you could put a bit of like a, a bit of talcum powder yeah. on your hands but would you do that when, you, know, when you're crafting i, I mean I is that something that you would do i don't know just I asking know. the question well you never know there might be some people out there that will tell us you know what do you do to get static off your fingers at home let us know do you yes. use talcum powder <laughs> What do you do? I don't know. It's and not again, the end of the world, is it? If it sticks to your hand, you just pull it off. Oh, you? You yeah, exactly. And I mean, you saw how quick and easy it was to do that. But again, you've got it onto its stamen now. And I'm just going to start manipulating again. Because while you've got it on there in that form, this is what you can do with them. You literally just have a little play until you're happy with it. And I'm really happy with that one, Ben. So that is really beautiful. And again, 
a Christmas rose in yellow? Would that be right? Because traditionally, normally it would be in white, mm. maybe. But again, you this is what you can do. You have a little play around with them. And let's put a poinsettia together. Let's get a little poinsettia going off there. So again, I'm going to bring in, let's go in with the smallest ones that I've already pre-done. And again, look at this. If we talk about the, the surface area, it's only a small one again. So you make sure you go into the centre of these. The centre, spread those out, hit into the centre, take your time you're not in a rush with these um you know you you're in control of this but you just need to spread each one out and then go back into that center again so take that time to be able to make sure you're hitting that center and that way you'll be assured that you are not going to tear or rip your flowers brilliant um loads of stuff flying out just a quick um heads up is that if you're going for the spring flower forming collection uh, we're down to the final few of these seriously into single figures if you want to get that if you've got that in your basket uh, get it checked out now because that will go uh, and don't forget keep commenting get in touch with us uh, let us know what you're up to this uh, easter sunday what you've been how many easter eggs you eaten how many chocolates you had <laughs> that's what i want to know who's had the most easter eggs who stuffed in the most easter eggs already today <laughs> i'm hoping i've got some when i get home I, I, we've not we've not had any have you had any easter eggs sent from home debbie or anything no no, no. well we no. don't do easter well i don't do no. easter eggs anyway so but no i mm. haven't said no 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 such no such look well let's know what you've been doing anyway if you had an easter treat so you know i always love to have at easter time as a little treat sherry trifle my mum always used to make at easter Ooh, sherry trifle delicious yeah. oh yes delicious absolutely ben, delicious hold the trifle Whack on the cherry. That's, that's it. <laughs> right, so I've got my two little flowers already there. So let's just pop those on now. Let's have a little. Um, let's have a little. We'll have a little plaque here. So let me just pop a little bit of glue just onto the back, and then we'll pop this on a little ribbon. I probably would cover that back over with another piece just to make yeah. it nice and neat. However. Um, I've got lots of other little features here as well. Oh, look, I forgot I did it. In. Oh, I forgot to add my green on. Oh, do you know? What are you not done? I forgot to put my green on my poinsettia. Ah. Here's one I did earlier. Aha. <laughs> Here's one I did earlier with my greenage bits. <laughs> but we'll pop these on. So I'm just going to trim off. And again, you could add a bit of blob of blue. Br blob of blue. Blob of blue. A blob, blob, blob of blue. blue. Oh, my days. A globule of glue. Globule of glue I'm going with. Ben. So just pop that around the back and again just have a little place. I'm just going to pop that glue down there. Uh, shall we have a Christmas wishes sentiment? Yeah. Well, it's not really Christmas, but nice little Christmas plaque. Um, just a little bit there. Bear with me, Glenn. Well, Glenn? Glenn? <laughs> Glenn? Who's Glenn? <laughs> Oh my days! Actually, I used to be married to a man called Glenn many moons ago. <laughs> and I wasn't, I wasn't nowhere thinking. Oh Glenn. dear me! Glenn. Oh, I think it's because I were looking for glue. And that, so and ben. glue and Ben got mixed up into Glenn. <laughs> uh, and I can't find the glue I'm after, so I'm going to use our permanent glue. Right. <laughs> Which is our lovely, um, mm. I'll have that on there, yeah, I'll have it on the white, I think it looks better on the white. Uh, and I'll just pop a little bit onto the back there, and then we'll start to add all those little flowers around there. Lovely. And that could be a little hanging, wall hanging, or anything like that. Uh, but again, these, I mean, oh, honestly, Ben, they're just so easy to put together and i know i say that like um, but honestly it's just just have a play i thought i was going to be one of those that would struggle with these and i thought you know gorgeous concept gorgeous idea but can i do it yes you can yeah is what i'm saying because if i can do it i i promise you you'll be able to do it too as well mary lee said that earlier she said she hang on a minute can't speak she said that uh, she thought this would be too fiddly for her as well um, and then she made one made two and then all of a sudden she's making hundreds of yeah <laughs> is that, that's exactly you right you've done it once haven't you once you've done it <laughs> once, once or yeah. twice it just exactly. becomes second nature exactly that is so true that's really true do you know what i quite like the idea of a, yeah well we'll go with his yellow one down here I know it's not quite the same, but this is a Christmas rose as well. So we'll go in with that one and I might just add, shows it a bit. Nice little gift Think tag it, as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, ooh, ooh, what a lovely idea. I mean, a, a pretty extravagant gift tag. But well, yeah, perhaps it is. However, yeah, well, we'll go with that one. I'm quite happy with that. That's so pretty gorgeous. Let's just push the, oh, I forgot to add my ribbit. Never mind. Never mind. There you go. You can have these to things like your gift tags or your wall hangings, your home decor. Uh, 
ed bands because we've got ed band going off here so this is really the tools that you need and the form that you need to be able to create these beautiful realistic 3d flowers because these are proper realistic looking flowers and every single time you do one pop it into a bag even if you're not going to use it straight away pop it into a bag have it ready so that when you want to add that little extra embellishment to anything like a picture frame like a mirror like our Sarah did and um, what about your floating teacups all those kind of things that's exactly what you can be doing with these you've got the tools you've got the product come and join our Sarah for that craft along on Wednesday I'll just give it a little plug again hope she don't mind <laughs> but you come and join her because honestly she's got something amazing planned for that uh brilliant I mean there's so many different so many different ranges that you can go for, of course. Uh, but if you want to go for the winter flower forming collection, 28 elements in total. So you've got that gorgeous poinsettia poinsettia that you've just seen made. I don't know what's going on today, seriously. Uh, you've then got that Christmas rose that we've just seen there as well. Done in the yellow though this time. So again, it just goes to show that you can create uh, lots of different flowers depending on the colour of the flower forming foam that you're using. Um, you're then going to get with this your autumn leaves included as well. Nice to build up the sort of um, foliage elements of your makes. Then of course you've got your holly included in there too, which is gorgeous. All the little um, dyes to be able to build up the holly berries and those leaves as well and then there is that gorgeous um, pine cone which just looks absolutely beautiful never seen anything quite like that in one of these collections so it's great that you've got so much versatility with them don't forget as well as all of that we are going to give you your winter hues 12 sheets of the flower forming foam to help you create everything that you have just seen uh, and all of that is in an unbelievable price 37 pounds or 47 dollars uh, and that of course is triple points for you as well and if you that was loud. And if you are a uh, Platinum member, you can take another 20% off that screen. $29.60 or $37.60. Just to show you as well, we've got other flower forming foam on the show for you as well. So if you need to stock up, this is on a buy two, get one free deal. I say you buy two. How many did you get free? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went a mile away. No, no, that's why I did it. Um, so you're going to get with this your foliage greens. So seven sheets of your foliage greens um, included in the three colours that you can see there. Then on top of that, your floral bouquet. So seven sheets of the floral bouquet. A bit more of a sort of a um, pastel sort of springtime colour in there, if you like, in those seven sheets. So that makes up your 14. And there we go uh, in your white, seven sheets. It's like you're getting this one for free. Uh, and again, if you want to take your inks to that, your um, alcohol markers to colour them into whatever colour flowers you want them to be, there you go. 11.98 or 19.94, your flower forming foam. Stamens, you say, Johnny. I can give you stamens. Right. Um, we have got the metallics, florals, and the white collection. Uh, me whites are over here. Okay, so within this collection, you've got 1,200 stamens in total. So a great way to stock up because believe you me, you'll be making these like you will not believe. Uh, 400 of your metallics, 400 of your uh, florals, and then you've got uh, 400 of your naturals as well. So you can color those as well to... Uh, whatever colour you want them to be. 798 or 1190, it basically works out that you buy two, you get one free. I say you buy two. You get one free. You absolutely do. So stock up on your stamens, 1200 of those for that price. And loads of you, when we launched the spring collection back on the 25th of March, were asking about the black stamens that Sarah was using. We have them now in stock as well. Um, 400 of those, really, really nice. Uh, and they're at 399 or 595 if you want to add those into your basket today. Always handy to have all of these consumables because honestly, once you've found out how easy it is to do at home for yourself, you'll be coming back and getting more and more of them. Now, the spring collection. Let's just talk turkey here for a second. The spring collection, as you know, is limited stock. However, we are now super limited stock. We've got, I'll tell you, we've got nine left. Uh, we have people with these in their baskets as well. So if that is you, check out, because what potentially will happen, and it's happened previously, is that we'll have loads of you popping this into the basket, and it doesn't register, of course, until you've checked it out. So it could well be that you've got it in your basket, you go to check it out, and it's not in your basket anymore. So if this is in your basket, get it checked out now. Do you want to have a quick look at the boards? Oh, it's, well, it's going to go. We haven't got, even got time to look at the boards. 
baskets, check them out right now. Don't say I didn't warn you. Triple points. Um, let's just quickly show you as well the templates. These are going to go, by the way. These are going to go. The template for, to make that box that Debbie was showing you a little bit earlier on, that is flying out the door as well. We didn't have a huge amount of those. 4 dollars or 6 dollars and again, triple points there. That's going to disappear very shortly too. Uh, so if it is in your basket, please make sure you check it out. The Spring Flowers Collection. Don't scream and shout, but it's now... Sold out! Gone. It is out of there. It's disappeared, gone. There's none left. Nine literally sold. I, I told you it happened in about... 80 seconds. Wow. Congratulations if you've got your hands on that. And if you're kicking yourself, going, oh, I didn't. We gave you fair warning. We gave you fair warning. Um, we do have a few of those available in the individuals, uh, some of the dies. But best thing to do is check the web, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com uh, or .eu. Uh, but well done if you've got your hands on those. We're going to have a look at that template. Uh, for the uh, the florist box. Uh, loads of you chatting as well right now on socials about uh, your favourite Easter treats, which we'll mention as we, um, as we see this uh, template box being made. Uh, Kathleen just saying marshmallow peeps. Uh, anything chocolate, says Beth, especially Cadbury's mini eggs. And I, and I, I love mini eggs. Oh. I, I ate a whole family bags of, of, of those the other day on my way home from here. That's really bad, isn't it? Family size bag scoffed i even about about <laughs> 40 miles into the journey i put them in the glove box to see if i forget about them and five minutes later i took them out and i was like that ah <laughs> really really terrible um, and beth said i made a grasshopper pie yesterday for dessert i don't even know what that is but i definitely need to find out beth a grasshopper pie anyway let us um, let us let us uh, dwell on that for a minute whilst we go across the other side of the studio to see our Debbie who is making a florist box from this template. Let's have a look at this then. Yes, so this template is really, really easy to use. You've got your template and it's, I mean, it, it's got all your places that you need to be able to uh, make this without the use of a die. So you've got the outside edge here and these lines that you see here are the ones that you're going to score with. So all you're going to do, and I'll, I'll pop this onto something, I'm trying to think of colour cardstock that I could pop it onto. I've used it on craft card, but I'm just going to see if it'll show up on the white so that you can see. That, no, that doesn't work at all. It looks baby. like an elephant. That, it does look like an elephant bear. It? it absolutely does. I tell you what, I can't find any, so I'll just show you what I mean. So I'm going to pop that over the top. Now, literally, this is craft card that I've used. You draw around. So you grab yourself a pencil, draw around using your templates all the way around. You can even, if you want to, place this on with some pencil marks. But you um, can also take your tool and go in there straight away to create those score marks. So go all the way around this, then you're going to cut this. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut around the edge just like so. Yeah. And this is what I've done with this. Okay. Now for those score lines, and I've just done my pencil mark on there, grab your scoreboard, whichever scoreboard it is. I'm just going to grab the first thing that comes into me. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, oh. oh you're right there. Oh. I'm all right, just hang on a minute. Whoa. So I got my scoreboard and literally all you're going to do is take your um, pen, where, over your pencil mark and you're going to just score down each of those. You could, if you wanted to, once you've got it onto your card, you could also do that, depending on the size of your scoring tool, but go in with your scoring tool straight away and that fits perfectly in there. So if you want to do it before you actually uh, cut it, absolutely you can do and again just rolling that on take that across and that's what you're going to do to create those score lines and cut lines so i'm just going to move that to one side and i'm going to build this up ben because you've got all the places and I'll, I'll show you how easy this is to do so for a second all you're going to do is put glue on these tabs here so all the tabs are going to have nothing on this just on the tabs <coughs> excuse me ben <laughs> i've got a tickle now oh don't have water I think, I think I might need some water in a moment. We might have to ask our lovely Jake if he's listening. Is he, is he, is he wandering down the corridor? Is he the wandering the corridors? Is he wandering I, again? I heard about him oh, wandering earlier. I can see him. Jake, please, mate. 
Please, can you get a glass of water for Debbie? <laughs> Did you hear those sound effects? I love it. Oh, bless yeah. him. Please, me get a glass of water for Debbie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I've got my glue on either of these panels. All you're going to do is take this one and you're going to fold it upwards. So I don't know how we can best describe this, how to do this with this camera angle. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. You're going to take these pieces in, bring this flap over. In fact, I'll do it this way so you can see it. Attach that to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, spooky Jake's here. Jake is in the studio. Jake is here. <laughs> spooky Jake. This is, it all stems from, by the way, the fact that I said earlier on, I think um, uh, Bernie asked me, where's Jake? I just looked out and he was walking down the corridor. I said, oh, he's just, what did they say? He's just wandering the corridors. And Bernie said it made him sound like he's a ghost. So just between now and then, everyone's just making spooky noises when they see Jake. He don't know what's going on, bless him. Now, can you see me flaps? I've, I've literally just, I have just burnished them. I've just burnished them. So those tabs, I'll change the word, I'll change the word, tabs. Pop those tabs. And these two here, you're going to now attach to this part here. So this flappy bit, the, the, tr <laughs> the trunk part of it. Shall we call it the trunk part? <laughs> Right, so we're going to just put that two, those two pieces together. Ben, behave <laughs> yourself. Right, so literally take those ta tabs. We'll go with tabs. Tabs, we'll go with tabs. And then that is how you put your box together. Ben, will you compose yourself? Sorry. But how easy was that to put together? And it literally is the easiest box you're going to ever use. And the template, you're going to be able to use this in so many ways. And do you know what else, Ben? Because it is a box, you could actually use it as a little <laughs> gift box as well. Another way of using it. Brave yourself, man. <laughs> Come on. Right, so there we go. That's my little box already. However, we want to fill it up with some flowers and some florals. So shall we do that? Yes, please. Shall we do that? Right, yeah. absolutely. Now, compose yourself, compose yourself. Okay. So I've already, because I'm, I'm a conscious of time, yeah. is literally flying by. So I've already pre-cut some. I've, I've used some of the tulips on here. I've popped a little bit of ink on. And all I say when I uh, ink is I've just popped a little bit of ink right in the centre. Yeah. Because you can add your ink. I've literally die cut out lots of different size florals. I've even got some You've made up busy, ready. You? you what, love? You've been busy. I have been busy. I've got a little bit of this, though. A little bit of oh, that. The, the oasis. It is, oasis. is it oasis? Is it oasis? Yeah. I'm sure it's floral oasis. And I've actually got some um, of these already done. This is just wire with that green um, um, floral tape yeah. wrapped around it. You can actually buy those, though, to be fair, Ben. You can buy them. Go into those flourished uh, places yes. and buy them. I've got some stamens already made up. Again, on the wire, twist it. All you're going to do is you're going to wrap. So you're going to take your stamens, however many stamens it is that you want. And don't forget, at Craft Along, so I was going to be doing this with you. So you're just going to put your stamens together, wrap your wire around the centre of them, pop that in. And then I, my trick is that I actually twist my uh, stamens and carry on twisting and twisting till it's all nicely taut together. Mm. So I've got a few of those already and I've put, I've, I've done some in black. I thought, cause they've got that lovely black. Thought I'd do some of those blacks as well. So I've got now some of these lovely little pieces as well, which are gonna cup up into little tiny balls for the Brilliant. center. So we've just got everything all pre-done. And this is what you'll do when you're at home. You'll get them all pre-done. I've got those beautiful crocus and I've cut it out in that gorgeous purple that's in that spring flower collection. Right, so let me move that to one side. Yep. And then I'm going to bring in my iron again. Yep. So pop me iron. Are you composed yourself now, Ben? <laughs> okay, yeah, but then when I think good, I have, good, good. I just start to laugh again. I'm just full of the joys of Easter. I'm a happy little bunny. Let me just tell you, um, just to see if I could just take my mind off everything that I'm laughing about. Um, we, we found out what a grasshopper pie is. Is a mint, Have you ever heard of a grasshopper pie? I have never heard it, of a grasshopper pie. It is a mint pie with creme de month and creme de cacao, cocoa, creme de cocoa, like the drink here in the US. The drink is a grasshopper many times mixed with ice cream. Oh, oh my for God, that. that sounds delicious. It does sound nice. <gasps> I, I thought for a second real grasshoppers when you said that. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? <laughs> no, that sounds beautiful, Ben. Yeah, it does, doesn't that it? That sounds gorgeous. It Ooh. really does. Now, again, all I'm doing with my flor florals is I'm popping it onto that heat setting. Just give it a little uh, touch of the heat onto there. I'll do it with my crocuses as well. So I'll pop your crocus. 
no fan stay where you are but just do it again with the crocus as well um, and this is what you're just going to do literally have a little play and that's all you need to do when it comes to uh, the heat factor so with that said sponge back in ball tool back in again distress you could distress if you wanted to distress them get your little distress tool and distress them you can add a different effect to these florals each and every one will be different depending on how you use them uh, so just have a play i can't stress it enough just have a play uh, and then what we're just going to do is take us ball tools again i'm going to go in with let me go in with my little one for this one and you can see it's already cupped up really well. Aye. But again, just push it into your form. Use your form as your tool and your tool together uh -huh. to create that lovely moulding. Um, and again, once this is done, Ben, it's done. It ain't going to lose its shape yeah. at all. A lot of people are asking about that last time, actually. And it, that is the thing to stress, that once you have shaped it, it holds its shape. That is the whole point about it, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, uh, we've only got 10 minutes left, by the way, um, <gasps> just as a bit of a time check for all of us oh. here, because we do have to vote for your demo of the show. And then, will we also vote for the demo of the day in this show as well then, Johnny? Or will we do that at the start of Second Chance Sunday? Do that at the start of Second Chance Sunday, and then we'll do the vote for the demo of the week later on. Wow, okay, okay. Second Chance Sunday coming up, uh, 7 o'clock UK time, don't forget, 3 o'clock East Coast, 12 o'clock West Coast. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming in, by the way. And, uh, I'm, I'm loving the fact that loads of you um, are laughing your heads off um, <laughs> with us and having a lovely, lovely uh, Easter time uh, with us here at Crafters TV. That's what I love about this place. We have a laugh, don't we? We give you the information and the, yeah, the demonstrations, but we give you the laughs as well. Exactly. <laughs> You've got to have a bit of a laugh, oh, haven't you, too? Of course you have. Bless you. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do, let's put this crocus together. So I'm going to go in with the centre there, and again, let's do that one, just turn that around. And then I'm going to go in with the crocus, and I love the crocus. The crocus has got a lovely feature on it where it's almost embossed it as well. So it really does look absolutely fabulous. Uh, you'll know what I mean once you get the kit. So uh, to all those people that have got the kit, you're going to absolutely love this one. I'm just offsetting it again, but I'm making sure I'm going in that middle as well. So again, that's my little crocus all done. So that's all you're going to keep doing. It's the same process each and every single time. Pop it together, pop your stamen in there. So let me grab myself... Um, what shall we have in the middle of that? We'll have, a, we'll have this one. Let's go in with this one. Uh, and again, you could build these up. The more petals you want, the better, the different effect that you're going for. I'm just going to pop that to one side, Ben, because I want to just crack on with these bigger ones as well. So I'm going to go in with me. Oh, I tell you what, shall we do? Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a cup one again. We'll go in with that. Uh -huh. And again, literally just have a little play. Build up your florals. Mix your colours up if you want to mix your colours up as well. Oh, that's beautiful. That's already looking gorgeous. My, honestly, every time I do them, Ben, I surprise myself. I just think, oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. Yeah. And you know, for flowers at the minute, where if, if people have got allergies and things like that, these are going to be perfect to give to someone. And actually, you talk about flowers and how much you spend on buying real flowers that die after a week. These are the kind of things that you can, you know, give as a gift. Pop yep. into a little, you know, vase. Like we've got the little florist box template over there. And they're going to last for years and years and years and years. Aren't they just? Oh, they absolutely. really are. God, that, look how gorgeous that black stamen is. It oh, just yeah. really offsets it. Absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to carry on now, Ben, but I'm just going to show you because obviously this is what you would keep on doing. And if you are going to use one of these, you just take it and wrap that around okay so you'd wrap that around and then you would get your uh, tape again so this time i'm using me uh, thing to attach to that green um um did we establish florist, what it was called uh, florist wire stick, wire stick yes there, <laughs> and yes. then and then you've got that attached onto there just use your green tape around there and i've actually got let me just bring in the ones that i've already pre-done because i've done it with quite a few and you can see i've got all my florals I've got my oasis, and it's just now uh, I've become a flower arranger. Cool, you have, not you? <laughs> this is brilliant. So, so literally, all you're going to do is have a little play where you want your florals and your foliage parts. So uh, literally have a little play around with this. This is just another way of using them. And um, honestly, the world's your oyster. Once you, because you've got the tools, you've got all the tools to be able to create, create these yourself. Let's go in with, um, let's take this in. I mean, I love, I I've never been, I've never won for 
It's one of those ones that I've always wanted to do, become a flower arranger. Oh, okay. Do you know when you see the beautiful bouquets yeah, that well, people you do the, can you make? you did a pretty good job there. Bless you. Yeah. I'm just trying to get them all into place before I actually stick it into my box. Um, but again, just have a little play. That's all it's about, having a little play. And then I've got all my little ones on to I take single ones, double ones, oh, pop yeah. them on, have a little play around. And again, let's pop that in. Let's give it a little old... Uh, and I'm just, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that I'm doing this for speed now more than anything because that time is actually flying away with us. Got, yeah, so I'm going to just now grab me box. Where's my box gone? Pop my box. Pop my Oasis uh, in there. Yeah, looks brilliant. Pop that into there and then just finish it off with a little uh, ribbon around there. And again, I might just actually, I might just attach it with a bit of tape. So what I love about this as well, this craft, is this kind of craft that you can do over many like days or even hours, do you know what I mean? You can do bits of the kind of making the flowers one day, you know, you can do other bits and pieces the next day. And I like the fact that you can pre-make all of the flowers, keep them in your little boxes or bags like Debbie does. And then when you decide that you want to do some um, flower making and uh, you know, maybe you want to do your own little bit of flower arranging, you've got the ability to do that because you've already pre-prepped all of those gorgeous flowers. And again, this is just another brilliant way to, um, to show these flowers off absolutely beautifully. I think that looks stunning. Thank you very much, Ben. Right awesome. Not quite finished. I'm just tying my ribbon on there. So I'll just pop his ribbon on. So literally take your ribbon. I've, this, is, this is what I'm saying about these florals. So many ways you can use them. And we'll go through the ways that we've used these today. Um, let me just make sure I've got my bow nice and... Uh, it's because I've got a bit of glue on there, but I'm not going to worry too much. Uh, but this is what you can create. So you can create these beautiful florals and have a little play. Add as many as you want into there. I'll show you my actual finished one, which is here. <laughs> which is the one that I did. But just have a little play around with them and add your ribbon afterwards. Have a little gift tag or something like that afterwards. But you've got the ability. You've got all the tools you need to create these yourself. Yeah. This is me just giving you a little insight into to what you can do you can make things like because in fact shall we go through what we've done i was going to say let's do that now because right. we're running out of time to vote so do you want to go from start to finish yep what you've so made we started with our lovely headband so again a beautiful headband so should we should number we just do one. one two three four yeah yep. so number one is the headband okay number two was the card so number two was oh, the yes. card number three was the tag. gift tag yep and number four was the bouquet box. Okie dokie. So you've got your one headband, two card, three gift tag for your floral box. Get voting now then. Uh, I reckon you've got about mm, three or four minutes to get your votes in. Uh, and then we'll announce the uh, winner of the show and of course get the uh, demo of the day a little bit later on as well. Uh, Michelle, it's for you just saying I've made... Uh, I've been making gift mugs and put artificial flowers in. Looks awesome. Uh, for Holidays Design says, I've enjoyed watching on my phone whilst cooking the Easter meal. Uh, much more enjoyable than just cooking alone. You've all kept me company. And Deborah just saying, thank you, Debbie, for demoing this. Much appreciated. I'd not thought about using Oasis. Well, there you go. That is what we are here for. Um, the flower forming starter kit, if you want to go for that, let me quickly grab it for you um, so you can see exactly what you're going to get. The spring flower forming kit sold out, but this is still super handy because within this kit itself, you are are going to get um, three sets of dies to be working with. So you've got here your um, your gorgeous lily, um, and then on top of that you have got your clover. There's uh, three dies in there, five in your lily, and then you've got your traditional rose from the rose garden collection with four more dies in there. So there's all your dies to be working with um, as far as your making flowers is concerned. Then you're going to get your foam included as well. So we're going to give you your flower forming uh, foam as well. This is the floral bouquet. Seven different colours in that sort of uh, pastel range, if you like, within that collection. And then you're also going to get seven sheets of your greens as well. Three different colours for your foliage. You're then also going to get your tacky glue included as well. And on top of that, you're going to get your stamens, which are the white ones. So a really, really nice kit. If you have uh, just watched this show for the first time today and found out about flower forming, you think, I'd like, to, I'd like to give that a go. This is the actual uh, bundle to go for as far as I'm concerned, because it's, what, £28 if you are a Platinum member or $40, and you're getting triple points right across uh, the day today. Now, I've just seen in my monitor uh, something absolutely brilliant. Let me just get my egg. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, we have got another name to put into. Uh, uh, 
into our Easter <laughs> Easter egg. What we're doing is we're asking you to send in your Easter pictures. Uh, the best ones we show, if we do show you a picture, you go into Monday's draw to stand the chance of winning a £50 or $50 voucher. The one on this show is brilliant. Cuteness overload coming your way now. Here it comes. Stephen, congratulations. <laughs> that is brilliant. Look at Scylla the dog. Look at Scylla, bless her little heart. Oh, I Look love. At her. That's proper made my Easter, that. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Uh, Stephen, I think that might be my favourite picture so far. Um, I ain't got me pen and paper, Andy, but when I do, Stephen, I shall write your name on a bit of paper and pop you into our Easter egg here, uh, and you could be drawn out of the hat tomorrow to win that £50 or $50 voucher. M more pets dressed up please is what we need that would be brilliant all right and we have a winner as far as the demo of the show is concerned the winner is <laughs> number four yay my little bouquet box <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, uh, any one of these could have been the demo uh, of the show because they're just such a beautiful floral. Um, if I, honestly, when I say if I can do it, you can too. I promise you, you've got the tools. The tools are what make this job so easy. Just apply your heat and then mould and shape. Add your inks and things like that to create a different effect. Add your distressing tool to create a fluffy flower. Uh, but honestly, you're going to have so much fun with these. These would be specifically designed to work with a heat source uh, so they will make the most gorgeous proper true life realistic flowers you've ever seen when it comes to our form we are at the top of our game when it comes to our foam flower flower foamy foam <laughs> we'll get out there all, we'll get all the s out there uh, but we really are at the top of our game with these these are beautiful you can see some of the gorgeous flowers that i've made today so so easy to do you've seen me do that if you want to do a craft along though Join our Sara this Wednesday, 3 p.m. UK time, and I'm trying to think, 11 a.m. East Coast time, 8 a.m. West Coast time. Uh, you can join our Sara. If you've got your flower forming foam tools and everything ready, come and craft along, because wait till you see what she has got planned for you to craft along with. I can't it, wait. It's going to be brilliant. What a great show as well. We've just had a big thank you to Debbie for all the fun, all the hints and tips and demonstrations and laughter as well. Uh, don't forget, if you have just joined us, you missed most of the show, you can watch it back. Best thing to do is subscribe to us on YouTube and then you can uh, craft along at your own pace. Right, we have got a couple of hours off now. We might go and eat some Easter eggs or something. Uh, well, since it's Easter Sunday. And whilst we get uh, ready for Second Chance Sunday coming your way at 7 o'clock, um, here is some more details as to what is going to be coming up here on Crafters TV. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Don't forget to uh, check out your baskets uh, because uh, things have been flying out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on Second Chance Sunday in just a bit. Bye for now. Make sure you hang around for the final instalment of the week here on Crafters TV because it's all about Second Chance Sunday. Your opportunity to get your hands on some of the most awesome deals and recent launches from the last couple of weeks. There'll still be loads of demonstrations and brilliant inspiration for you all too. Then tomorrow is the start of a brand new week. It'll be Wake Up Call with Craig at midday in the UK, 7 a.m. Eastern time. I may even drop in full of chocolate, who knows? <laughs>